Um, I might go ahead and do the profit. Yeah, my bounties usually pay like a bill, which is it was, it was amazing. I'm not complaining. It's just crazy. The true king of Demacia, yeah. I might go grab the legendary barista. I don't like the legendary barista too much, but honestly, we don't have good trinkets. So if we have a team for the profit, I'll probably just go go make some profit. Um, Kaiser, we would take Steven. Irish. I don't know what Earth is. I know Earth is like the walrus things, and I have no idea that there was a mode. Let's watch a guy who played something for two hours, made a couple grand. Yeah, it's crazy, Metal Thug. How do you, Metal Thug? Search servers make, it's your lies. You're better at gaming. A lot of it is uh, seniority, so to say, too. Like, I wish I had started streaming full time hours back when I first started streaming. If I had been streaming 45 hours a week since 2010, uh, I'm sure the channel would be bigger than it is. Of course, I might not have met a lot of you guys, though, so I can't really complain. Uh, but it's just crazy. Ultra Rapid Fire. No mana, very low cooldowns. Is that a mode right now? Is there a cooldown? Free skill and insane damage that works. Every time a commercial song goes through your head. The quilted quicker picker upper. I do an epic sauce. Bounty. I haven't heard that in a long time. CGR rotates every few months. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. This is the team I generally take to the profit. We don't have as good of uh, trinkets as I usually do for the for the profit. It is apprentice, so we should be okay. TV. Top streamer numbers. Yeah, well, the thing about day nine is it didn't always stream, um, like, full time, right? He was going to college. He, he uh, joined, like, a game development group company thing. Like, he didn't actually start streaming full time again, so to say, until maybe, like, a year ago or something. I'm sure if he had done it full time the whole time, if he had stuck with StarCraft and StarCraft 2, done it full time. And then had like a split stream like I do. His stream would probably be much bigger too. But uh, yeah, I mean, I was streaming on Justin TV as well, and I just I just didn't. I streamed like two hours a month, so. <laughs> yeah, it's insane, insane. Play league so because you don't do all random all mids. Oh, that's not what we were. We that's not what we were doing. We only played one of those IMAX. Oh, because you only do. We did one of those. Either one. I mean, I'm fine playing with either, either of them. So, I'm fine with doing the all random. The uh, the good thing about the all random all mid is that it's been so long since I played. There's so many champions that I have no idea. Like, there's so many that didn't exist when I played that um, I have no idea what they do. So the all random all mid gives me a chance to see at least. Uh, what skills different champions do. I might get to use a champion that, um, you know, didn't exist uh, back when I played. And so, yeah, it has it has its uses. I mean, also, it's fun. <laughs> Lots of the games that brings in high numbers. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's the dream, like I said. Um, of course, my dream is to support my family with a stream, which we're getting closer to most months. And... Um, but for him, he basically just plays variety new games. And if there's no good variety new game to play, then he goes back to one that he enjoyed recently. And is very well off doing so. Try and get rid of Spotted Fever. Probably gonna use them. Probably the Houndmaster? No. Not really, uh, because the only person in this that would get extra damage against the Prophet would be the Houndmaster. And the Houndmaster, and we, we don't want to kill the Prophet too fast anyway. Time, oh, I'm not going to be like that for sure. No, I didn't. I saw that right before the stream. Uh, when does that promotion run out? I'm out of time. I don't know about that. I don't know about that metal thug. Uh, 
obsessive material things. Anything else we really need to get rid of? The Yips is kind of annoying, but it's not too bad because it's on Vestal. I mean, the channel wouldn't exist. It would it would not be... I would literally not be streaming if it wasn't for all you guys. Like, if I would have stayed at one... Sorry, Ibex. If I would have stayed at one viewer for this, like, last two years or something, I would definitely not be streaming 40 hours a week. <laughs> streaming to Ibex and my wife. 40 hours a week. Uh... Since so my demons is pretty annoying, too. So is soft. There's not, like, super, super bad things that we need to get rid of right now. Fragile is pretty annoying, too. But, I mean, again, it's not like we have to get rid of this this week. So, um, I suppose I'll just go ahead and get rid of Demonomania. I'm still going to be Sekiro. Thank you, Ibex. I would have still streamed it. <laughs> Man, I love that game. I want to play through it again. June 27th? Okay. Wait, so what is Heaven... I mean, I know it adds, like, uh, additional content to the game, but is that one that adds classes and races too, Ivax, or is that the other expansion? Hey, Cam. Welcome in. I knew I shouldn't have said anything to you guys. I knew I shouldn't have. Okay, double healing trinkets on our vessel. Uh, Heaven... Heaven's Word added two new classes. What classes does it add? So Dark Bracer, Warrior's Bracer. Uh, we'll take Scouting. Scouting and Health, most likely. Three. Three new classes. Is it the one that adds the Dragon Race too, or was that the other expansion? Eldritch Slayer Ring is actually fairly decent this early on like uh there's a lot of elders in the game so if we take that into the cove or the wield it's gonna actually be worthwhile i think i'm gonna keep that for now i was originally gonna sell it but uh hang on to it dark knight astrologian machinist hmm. do those split off from earlier classes or are those their start like the starting thing or does it work different stormblood added two more Samurai and Red Mage, okay. Alright, uh, let's make sure our camping skills are good, and then we are... Actually, I didn't really need that. Then we'll get into our first dungeon of the night, a boss. How you doing though, Cam, by the way? By the way. I can't out here, I'm glad. <laughs> Cecil Dark Knight. No, no Lydia command. Get out of here with that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's let's go kill us a prophet. All right, all the food, stacks, shovels. Um, we are here to kill the boss, not for loot. So I'm gonna go uh, a little bit overboard on provisions for the boss. Okay. Cecil from Final Fantasy IV is one of your favorites. Monitor on the left, so the right one died. Community grows. Yeah, that sucks, Grumpy Bucky. Grumpy Bucky, welcome in. Gun, thank you for the follow. Gun, food, shovels. We got boss stuff and curio interaction. Um, upgrades, trinkets, skills, Our camp. Grows. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, and camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. All right, the mantra has been said. It's time to kill a boss. Uh, strange trees. Beneath the manor Thank you for the follow. Away. Strange trees. Did you follow like a week ago? It doesn't matter. Thank you again. Arrived in the hamlet. This Show that fake coach. Who's the real coach? Coach. Thanks, Scorpios. Scorpios, are you life coach to the life coach? I would soon unleash doom upon the. How you doing otherwise, monkey? That sucks about the monitor though. Yeah, I thought so too, Strange Trees. No worries. It's all good. Uh, thank you again, though. No. Uh, it's so easy to unfollow, especially if you watch on mobile. Mobile, and they're always changing, like, the follow the follow icon on mobile. Um, for some reason. So sometimes it's like, wait, does that mean I'm followed or not? But anyway, no worries. Keep that fake coach didn't mind. Be hilarious. <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing it, seriously. 
Done that twice? Yeah. Prime, this is the run. Uh, so the boss spawns in the furthest room from the starting location. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's going to be there. Eight rooms to the profit. Kind of a, a meh kind of work day. Sorry, Grumpy. Well, forget about that. Your real life responsibilities. Book it set. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Coltus Acolytes. The Coltus Acolyte pushed our Vestal into the position that we wanted her to be in. Um, hmm. I think I'm actually going to use If It Bleeds here. Because I knew it would crit and kill them. No, the real reason why is because I want our uh, man at arms to. I kind of want him to be able to jump in front of here. But it might actually be better to bellow. Or even guard. Um, hmm. If I jump in front of him and stun this one, and then I use the hound treat, we might be able to kill the acolyte. If I use Bellow, it's going to drop its speed. As long as it lands, it's going to drop its speed to 1, and then we get to go before it. I think Bellow is still the answer here. Sentai Lion, the only thing that kept it being done. But the lines literally right before the quote happens. Um, yeah, I like... I mean, I love those lines so much that... Uh, I mean... <laughs> Now, now that I have seen what it feels like to have our own custom Wayne lines, um, I'll absolutely get more of them if they allow for it with the pre-release or whatever of Darkest Dungeon 2. Or even not, apparently. You can just do it if not. I mean, now I know that, thanks to you guys. She was a bunch of mixed news. You want to talk about it, Ibex? I, mean, I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, if you do, obviously you can Someone include us again. I actually was going to add some more of the voice lines last night to the vote thing like that, Rakes, but I didn't get a chance to. It wasn't ridiculously expensive. I don't, I don't, I don't want to ask how much. Like I, um, feels like kind of rude to ask for me, and I, I don't, I don't, I don't need to know how much or anything like that. The only, the only reason that I would want to know ever is in case I wanted to order more or something. But that would be a long time from now anyway. Um, and who knows, it might be different at that time, so. Oh, yeah, Ivax, my wife actually... Wait, they're actually gonna re redesign Sonic? I can't believe they... They are gonna do that. Um, but yeah, my wife told me about Chewbacca. The OG Chewbacca. Uh, actually, she was in here as I was about to start the stream and let me know. I was trying to get a crit to get some stress off. Masterfully executed. Yeah. And uh, obviously, um, Star Wars was such a big part of his life, you know? That was a, a massive part of who he was, who I identified with. Uh, and so it was really important to him, from what I understand. Um, so the good news, I suppose, is that uh, he got to... Uh, supposedly the, the Star Wars that's coming out this year is the last one. Yeah, we'll see. But, uh, supposedly it's the last one, at least in the main series. And, uh, so I guess he, he at least got to see and experience the full, the full arc, so to say. You liked how Sonic looked? I don't know. When you compare how the Sonic looked initially with like the the other 3d sonics and whatnot it was like right ginger how you doing ginger you did rick so uh what happened um the the guy that uh played the original chewbacca passed away A decisive public. time to ban ricks <laughs> he liked the original uh, new Sonic design. He eats salsa on cookies. Someone needs to stop this man. No stress heal. Abusive, selfish, abusive. 
salsa cookies. Sorry, right, Ricks. We we knew what we were getting into in the early days when you told us that you would legitimately be a cannibal. <laughs> and we were like, oh yeah, that's fine. Come on in. Come on in, Ricks. Eat people. Have an onion sandwich on the side. It's good. Oh, he's going to lose it. True. That's the Sonic I remember. Cartoon. There was two different uh, Sonic cartoons back in the day. There was the one that had the mole guy and the bunny, and he loved chili dogs. And there was the other one. Another one falls. Offers for a sacrifice. I don't know. How's the run going? Yankee, it's going all right. We've had a couple of really uh, scary, or is it merely scary moments. We're still in run twenty though, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, we had, uh, we actually had a death's door hit on us, and, uh, I gotta remember, we're here to kill the boss, not for loot. We don't have room for that, so we'll come back and loot more after the boss, we're in good shape. Wrong with the design? Oh, I, yeah, it was, oh, man. I literally facepalmed when I, uh, it literally caused, caused me to facepalm when he said, I gotta go fast. I was like... I mean, I know that's a Sonic thing, right? But now all I can think about is stupid, like, uh, 4chan or something. Oh, that's that's what I liked. Charles Kripalink. So, for CMO, it tasted good. Okay, for sure. Katie Baker, Peter. Alec Guinness, Star Wars Hall of Legends. Yeah, we were just talking about that. How you doing, Polly Wash? Uh, so, the thing about it, too. Um, we, we were talking about how, the other night, how good of an actor Jim Carrey is, and like, any serious roles, scary roles, um, comedic roles, like, he, he's, he was, for me, what kind of saved that trailer, like, J Jim Carrey would be why I watched the movie, not Sonic, which is kind of crazy. Arms the wrong color. Not a fan of, a fan of brownies, would you eat this one? Didn't have gloves. His uh, body size was just wrong, too. He was, like, elongated. It was like they were trying to make him sort of a real creature, but not. Watch it with a bottle of wine at theaters. <laughs> you think he's about to be Horton Hears Who? Yes. All about the size. The eyes are off. It was all. She's really messed up on Sonic Design. It took amateurs a few hours. Oh, yeah, I saw that, too, Ginger. Yeah. I saw the side by side and they were like, this is what Sonic should look like. And I was like, yes, that is exactly what it looks like. I'm just surprised they actually did it. Um, usually they don't, they don't give in to that stuff. They just go with it. It's like, yeah, screw it. Boom. Triple kill. Steven. What a God. Spider killing God. First overlay is still off. Oh, my bad. Thank you. Yeah, we turned that off for League. There we go. Thank you, Kamiya. How many people not like the Zion of such glorious creature? Oh, baby, a triple. Small blue hedgehog. <laughs> oh, man, Knuckles. I didn't even think about that. Sonic look both realistic as a hedgehog and not frightening. Let's go with his usual cartoon design. Yeah, I agree. Like, I think they did fine with, like, Pikachu and stuff, right? I, I didn't watch that, but the trailer and stuff, like, they made Pikachu look realistic, but, I mean, it was still Pikachu and cartoony. I don't know that I like that they allowed him or made it so he talked or whatever, but his design looked fine. Like, he, he it looked good. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of weird they didn't go that route. Quote is you playing well. You like Jim Carrey, you don't know how he's playing Dr. Robotnik? I don't know. The part of the trailer where it shows him after he's blown that part of his hair off definitely was like, yep, that's Dr. Robotnik. Or Eggman. I always called him Dr. Robotnik. I know it's, it's either or. Not here for loot. Not here for loot. I'm gonna throw that down anyway. Don't tell anyone. Get this stress off of our Hound Master. 
The Pokemon mostly look really good. Yeah, from what I've seen. Yeah. I mean, I saw Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime looks like something out of a horror movie, but that's just Mr. Mime anyway. Uh, my daughter is, like, super into Pokemon at the moment, too. And, uh... She talks about how she hates Mr. My. So movie doesn't mean they need to bring out the whole Super Smash Brothers roster. Oh, this is the start. Now that we have the Detective Pikachu and we have the Sonic, this is the, the genesis for a Smash Brothers movie. A, a real li live action. Hey, R Squared, how's it going? Oh. Gonna look awesome and not on Candy Valley. Yeah. Does talk in the Detective Pikachu game. Yeah, I know. I'm saying I don't I don't know how I feel about them making it so he can talk because uh, canonically until that point it was just the as Team Rocket Meowth that could talk, right? As far as I know. So too will but, resistance. Uh, it is what it is. F minus no. We'll come back for this loot. I, I need to remember that we're here to kill the boss. Uh, if, the, if the boss goes well, we'll come back, we'll loot. Came from work, gonna lurk in a bit. Sounds good, R squared. Really work is going well. Thank you for the lurk. Still no collector or shambler. Like, I don't, I don't, this team would destroy them. So this would be the team to run into them on. Because we're level two, we have decent trinkets. Let's name, there's one human. Could hear him? Gotcha, okay. I didn't know that. That makes a little bit more sense. So to everyone else, he's just saying Pikachu over and over. I swear it's dead. Gonna nibble on some grub. Ooh, a big crit. Sit back, try to relax. Watching Dad and play RNGL. <laughs> Sounds real good, Grub Bucky. Thank you. But... Call him Remind in the movie. That yeah, that is a good question. I don't know. Killer. Pikachu, stop cursing. Oh, that too. Pythons. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, that's, I, as soon as I heard that music, the very first note of it, of Gangster's Paradise, I turned towards my wife and I was like, are they playing Gangster's Paradise in this random Sonic trailer? Like, what, what's going on? For a second there, I thought Sonic was going to come out of the ball and he was going to have like the weird dread, whatever. I don't know what you want to call that hairdo from, uh, from back then. City escape. You want to follow a rainbow? Follow me. God, that song will get stuck in my friggin' head all the time. Follow me. It's like, uh, creating that high. What kind of perk? So the Hellion has a 30% damage buff from the angel. Uh, she has warrior's bracers and she has hot to trot. So that was 25, 35, 60, plus 65% damage on a level 2 with level 3 upgrades. But we're going to camp, and she's going to drop that 30% damage, unfortunately, in exchange for crit. Time to lurk. Thank you for lurk, R squared. A spark without kindling. Go straight to DVD. Without hope. Bring in John Cena. <laughs> Gangster's Paradise. So, uh... 10% crit, we're gonna do uh, crit and dodge full party. And then hopefully this crit hits. Uh, she missed that 8%. She would've been at 23% crit, but unfortunately it didn't land on her. The match is struck. Zone plays the point. Star is born. Yeah, that's what I was saying too. I'll watch it for Jim Carrey, but I guess they're changing the Sonic uh, graphic to be better anyway. So uh, we'll see what the new design is, I suppose. I mean, I would have even been okay with, like, uh, like a Roger Rabbit situation, you know? Like, even that would have been okay. Or better, anyway. Better is yet to be determined. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'll loot that after the boss. Don't know why they're changing perfection. Alright. Um, I'm actually going to take Adrenaline Rush over Breakthrough here. I should have leveled it up for this boss. Oh god, I didn't level up bolster either. What's going on with my life? Be alright. Smoke some illegal Canadian weed and watch Jim do his thing. Yeah. What is that one, Ginger? 
All right, boss time. I'm talking about John Wick. Wait, is there gonna be a third one? I didn't know. The madman hides there behind the pews. Oh, he's dropping two right off the bat. Mindless drivel. So the prophet can be a very RNG heavy fight. Um, because he can drop this on either one or oh, what didn't use holy water? What's going on? I'm crumbling, falling apart. Anyway, he can use the um, ceiling on either one or two people at a time. He just chose to use it on two. He can also AOE, he can also stun multiple people. He can also AOE blight, and so it's just a crapshoot um, sometimes. So what I like to do is I like to get him low in health to where he's like one or two hits away from dying, and then uh, once he's that low. Then I work on killing the or destroying the pews for extra loots, and then if things hit the fan, we can just kill them at any moment. A devastating blow. Yeah, I liked I like John Wick. Guns, lots of guns. Lineup use you run last night. Yeah, this is one of my favorite ones to use in general. Use them a lot. John Wick. So we're going to guard uh, whoever the ceiling is dropping on. Because not only is that going to be dodge. That was that could have been bad. Um, it's going to take damage off them. Consolidate it on someone that hopefully we can heal. But it's also going to continue to raise his protection. And the ceiling is going to do less and less damage. So even though he's already getting hit. We're still going to guard someone else. And the reason why is twofold. One, it's going to continue to uh, raise his protection. But two, we do not want our Vestal to be stunned. Ooh, good, good. Crit your Hellion to Death's Door on one hit. I know those feels. Precision and power. All right. So he's close to dying now, so we can start earning some money. Kind of Reeves' most accomplished role. Look at that, six. Sitting on a bench looking sad, yeah. <laughs> Now, since he's already taking that hit, You'll join us or die, master. The ground quakes. What? <laughs> um. He will join us or die, out. master. Thank you for gifting a sub to Ivax. <laughs> you took his subversary away from him. Um, thank you for the gift sub to Ivax. Come out, I appreciate it. And Ginger. I think we have something to Ginger also. Let's send your prime elsewhere. Uh, count me out. Thank you for the gift subs. Do appreciate it. I can use how Master Guard. I could, but he has. Um, I mean, he is wearing extra uh, health, but I'm probably just going to heal her instead. It should be alright. I'm still going to guard her so that she doesn't get uh, stunned. Got you too, yeah, he did. Sneaky, sneaky. Impressive. But where? Hmm. Hey, Zamana, how's it going? Such a terrible assault cannot be left on Sorry. Twenty-five. A little bit rough. But where? Make that wooden bench bleed, coach. Uh, all right. Might be worth guarding now, though. I think we, I think we probably should. Benches be tripping. True. Still gonna heal her. Hopefully we dodge that one. Grievous injury. Palpable fear. Stunned our man at arms, which is really bad. Good dodge. Because now he can't guard. Um, it's dropping on two. We we probably just kill here. Uh I mean I don't know, it's not that bad actually. 
As long as it doesn't crit. For the summer. Early for jump. Congrats, Ginger. I should just kill him. I think so. Um You have some mess up the streak. Let's not let them be able to share it. I have no idea. Yeah, we'll just kill him. So we always share the streak. Okay. We only got one bench, unfortunately, but it wasn't worth. I mean, if she got crit or something, you know. Let's go uh, pick up some of that loot we left behind. If we spawn a battle, we'll eat some food and if only probably do the battle. The corruption. We'll see. Depends on what battle it is, I suppose. Well, I mean, we can't tell before we enter it. But another boss down. I think that's like the third boss of this run. Herbs are guaranteed loot here. Not great loot. Uh, but loot nonetheless. They were large ginger. GG easy. Gonna eat. Yeah, I still feel hungry for some reason. Don't know why. Hasn't been that long since I ate. Of course, I only ate one meal today. So maybe that's it. I did silver lurker. Welcome in. Already been looted. Okay, so we're immune to hunger in the next hallway. We only have four food left. Um. Hmm. So if we get a hunger proc, I don't know which way I should go. I know, I know what's up here. I guess we'll go left. The only downside is we might get in a battle and screw over our man at arms. We shall see. Um, yeah, we're not gonna be able to stack those. I'd really like to find another secret room, but I have to get a critical scout to get one. Hey, it's hunger proc. All right, so we can only go one more hallway unless we find four pieces of food. So we're immune to hunger in the next hallway. Keep on lurking, fall asleep. Super lurker, thank you for the lurk. Have a good night. Are you here for my beans? Why are you wet? Stealing my beans. I just keep beans in here. Jelly beans. Yeah. No, I don't have. I don't have a drawer. I'm just beans. Like, yeah. Let me open my cabinet's drawer of Bush's baked beans. We've got hickory on top. I mean, that would be like if Rakes was streaming. Rakes would be streaming. He'd open it. He would open a drawer and just start eating a handful of beans. I don't know. What's that to you? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. It's already fine. Crit. Digested beans? Peep is back. Whoa. Move the screen. No, don't do that. <laughs> Be the end of the world. Alright. Boss to make beans are pretty good. It's true. How do you know that's the mod wife? <laughs> Maybe that's the mod husband. My daughter's up too late. My daughter's eight, but she has really big hands. <laughs> what, your hands are bigger than eight year olds? I'm not saying you're... <laughs> Done. The Bye, I love you. War can be she knocked my beans over. All right. God, what a what a terrible quote. Get wrecked. Made her mad. She wasn't mad. <laughs> Seem to be haunted. Ghostbusters on speed dial. Ghostbusters. How you doing, Fatty? Welcome on in. Fatty, did, did you see? The bounty tonight is League of Legends again. 
beans on your burrito either. Good in that math, maybe not so much. Look at Blazing Saddles. Stop with his beads. Couch Knight? Nah. Dollar Store is now selling kids berry flavored mouthwash, so no more disgusting mint mouthwash for you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Congrats, Rakes. How you doing, Jeff, and welcome in. See if we can distress heal in before we kill this guy. I mean, we, I know I can. Some salsa. <laughs> Wash down my salsa with some nice berry flavored kid's mouthwash. A momentary Don't tip me. Bubble gum. So I, I don't mind bubble, like bubble gum, like the flavor of bubble gum if I have bubble gum. But my wife and daughter really like that flavor in general. Uh, I'm going to stall one extra round. I might regret it. Um, in fact, we were getting, um, we're at the grocery store getting food for the next three or four dinners. And uh, they got bubble gum ice cream. A half gallon of bubble gum flavored ice cream. I just, I can't, I can't do that one. Yeah, see? <laughs> Sangrias can make a pretty good one. Gross. I didn't hit me Should only come in one flavor. Severe burning sensation. <laughs> That's how you know it's working. How else do you know? I'm not going to use the key just in case we find a secret room. Um, how else do you know your mouthwash is wor working unless your mouth is literally Waiting to be like burning? Right? Cinnamon overall. Zelatos. The neighbors just let their dog out at nine, like nine thirty every night. It's like the dog needs to poop at the same time every night. It's probably before they go to bed every night. Ba ba Bahamin. <laughs> the window is open. Ba the Bahamin are out there. It's too hot. It's too hot to close it. Dog's on at 9.30 p.m. Like whiskey, how do you know it's working if it is burning? <laughs> Around 2 a.m. Are you my neighbor? Mouthwash, why not just use fireball? <laughs> fireball whiskey. That's a good point. No, <laughs> it works every time. Ugh. Uh, it's the nighttime. P walk around 8:30, and we're crit. Vision. See if this loot was worth. Approaches. Find out real soon. Might as well be. <laughs> Basically twins. If I started eating salsa on my cookies, and Rakes started wearing a Get Good Ked T-shirt, couldn't even tell us apart. Loot's always worth. Oh no, this is gonna be a stall. Uh, I didn't mean it. <laughs> Where is it's only three bucks now? It's all right, we're fine. Gotta go to you, Mr. Man. That was close. Ooh, look at all that gold. Two full stacks of gold. Can be felt. They can Worth. Be beaten. Worth. God, I just... If I throw down the key, we will find a secret room over here. If I keep the key, we won't. That's just how it works. Oh, man. That's just the way it works. You played Battletech in the past? Yeah, I did. Not too much. It was a bounty. We played it for a couple hours. Drop the key. We're not here for loot until after we kill the boss. Is the thing. After the boss, that's why we're that's why we're backtracking now. Now we're here for loot. <laughs> Trigger pickle juice strength. Oh, straight. Yeah. On your alcohol beverage to a good glass of pickle juice. Guaranteed loot over a small chance of loot. 
That's what you say until it happens and then you feel like you would just rather die. Time. But generous be Coming up. Oh yeah, I know Doom. That's the problem. GT! GT, thank you for the 100 bits and for using the bleed purple. Thank you, GT, for the bits. For anyone that doesn't know, um, right now, if you give bits to any channel, if you use the bleed purple one icon emote as you do the bits, uh, Twitch matches 10% of it. and just gives an extra 10% at no extra cost to you. So if you give 100 bits to a channel, any channel, this one, another one, uh, for instance, it'll give them 110 instead. It just materializes money. Should not be eating cheese. Why? Are you lact? Are you intolerant of the lactose? First of all, problems exactly. Hey, do do. Pickle bags are amazing. They said a bird in hand is better than two in the bush, but I'm pretty sure a bird in my hand is going to attempt scratching out my eyes. <laughs> yeah, that one, Nick. Yep, yep. The bleed purple. Uh, when you when you do the bits. You can just click it when you when you do a cheer. You can just click the bleed purple, um, gif one or whatever. You are Cam. What kind of cheese are you eating? This expedition at least promises success. Sorry, your your stomach can't handle that spicy milk. No, it really does suck. I'm I'm glad I'm not lactose intolerant. I could imagine that would that would not be good. Lactose is one of my favorite food groups and drinks have such a wide variety all right well we didn't use the key let's peek in here no parmesan cheese mozzarella along with gluten yeah gluten and uh, uh, lactose two of my favorite food groups in the pyramid yeah so we got about twenty-two thousand gold we had a trinket to sell too so like twenty-three thousand plus a trinket that we'll actually use uh, not a bad dungeon. We've got level threes, which kind of sucks in a way because we want to level up slow. Obsessed with killing and lethargy. Not good pickups at all. Taking the money from the guy that got fresh banned for doing the or spending the well via yeah, bleed purple Same bits for ocean. Memory. Yeah. Is it lactose tolerance a normal genetic? I don't know. It seems to be a more common thing in some generous some places than others. Like, I, if I remember correctly, in a lot of uh, Asian countries, uh, lactose intolerance is a much higher percentage than in some other places. I don't, I don't know. Snoozy Bear. Snoozy Bear, thank you for the 100 bits. You somehow make this stressful game relaxing to watch. Snoozy Bear, thank you for the 100 bits and for using the bleed purple and the kind words. Glad you enjoy watching. She has seizures if she that's crazy, Zelatos. So hard to get good food. Yeah, I've, I haven't heard of it being that bad. That's that's crazy. Sorry, Zell. Do you pronounce your Zell or Zeal, by the way? Um, so we're gonna I don't know, I might use the stun charm. Um It's so we have been using the Dazzling Charm. This is twice as good, but it just takes away two dodge. At this point, isn't a big deal. Hmm. And the lactose are well, since we are the only animal that keeps consuming milk stuff for the entire life. Mom has celiac disease. She can't do gluten either. Zell or zeal? Yeah. High fructose corn syrup and bacon. That's the food groups. Yeah. Zeal, but pronounce it zeal, but people call you whatever. Okay, got Monterey Jack. Oh, that's a good one. Mozzarella, bunch of ground beef, some good steaks. They're on sale for cheap 40 for it all. Four packs of hamburger meats, three pounds each. Hey, it's the profane skull. That is beep beep. I'm a Jeep's favorite, um, favorite trinket in the game. He's told me over and over. Gouda. There is a cheese song. If you haven't listened to it, it's it's from early YouTube. If you go to YouTube and you type in cheese and go Remy, G-O-R-E-M-Y, just check that out if you like cheese. I developed in northern populations due to the people having lighter skin, therefore less melatonin. Consuming lactose for the rest of their life helps make up for the vitamin D 
not absorbed from the sun. Interesting. Thank you, Orchestra. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, well, I mean, it's kind of interesting, though. Like, I know there's uh, quite a few um, African uh, countries where the tribes still do things like uh, they drink milk combined with cow's blood. Like, that's one of their main main sources of uh, of calories. Um, and, and, I mean, they're definitely not in the northern parts. I wonder how that... Maybe just because that's what they've always done, so they also... Those specific tribes maybe over time also gained a tolerance for lactose. Hmm. It's pretty interesting stuff. Uh, go Remy. It's a name you haven't heard in a long time? Yeah, there it is. So it's... If you want to, if you want to type that into YouTube, if you're a cheese person, you might enjoy that video. All right, let's go look at uh, what the next rewards are. Where's my Hell's hairpin? Please, <laughs> we're gonna have to buy one, guys. We're gonna have to expand the Nomad wagon and try to buy one. An increasing stockpile. It's just of one of those runs. Gathered from forbidden places. Melon. Oh, that, yeah, I guess that would make more sense. I didn't even think about that. Uh, what ring do I... Oh, did someone ask? I'm sorry. What was the exact question? What rank you suggest starting the Crimson Court? It depends a little bit. So, the thing about the Crimson Court is once you open the Crimson Courts, you cannot stop the tide of blood enemies, right? So once you open it, you are going to start getting the curse. And the more people that get the curse, the more annoying or offsetting it'll be. The more uh, likely you are to face the... Um, uh, why did I... I almost said flagellant. The, fan, the fanatic. More likely you are to face the fanatic. So for me, I usually wait to open it until I'm basically close to being ready to killing the Baron. So I don't usually open it until week 25 to 30. Um... You could definitely open it sooner than that. The curse does have some benefit, like speed, for instance, and speed is very good, especially early game. Um, I definitely wouldn't suggest going to the courtyard until you have a full team of level twos, so you can very easily kill the croc boss or mini boss in here. So as long as you have a fully upgraded team of level twos with reach, you should be safe to go in. But after that, it depends on how prepared you are to have that the influx of blood mobs of uh, blood suckers guys I think we're just gonna kill another boss because there's not really any dungeons to go to that we uh, really need to so we'll, we'll go kill the swine prince probably uh, where's our flagellant about the flagellants uh, people develop some form of lactose intolerance you should descent it's high Highest around 90. Wow. I didn't even realize it was that high. It's crazy. So you just cleaned it up? Yeah, I think you caught me out. It's referred to as a land flowing with milk and honey. It's presumably the freaking milk in the Middle East for thousands of years. Yeah. We saw this. Never made it past easy mode. Nothing wrong with that. It is a good game, though. Um, it can be unforgiving for sure, but it's good. What else do I want to take? Obviously a healer. Let's see what uh, vessels we have. Kill Wilbur first. We actually need to get some more vessels. Should be easy. Take a Houndmaster again. Take Hemuel. And then for position two... Uh, I'll probably take a highwayman, and we just won't use a repost on the boss. I don't know. Yeah, that should be okay. We can take Gurg. Or I can just take another Hellion. Hellions are just so good. She really benefits from all the bleed, too. Zoophobia. Kratic, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. This is this team will not be able to stall at all to recover. Always kill the little pig first. It's not a good... I mean... That's how you unlock, unlock uh, hard mode for the Swine Prince. All right. Let's do this. 
But it'd be you can always start from the new from noob heroes. Yeah, the only thing Stone Blooded is uh, if you're playing. That's what I tell people. If you're playing on Radiant or on Darkest, there's no lose condition, right? So you can always claw your way back. You can always get back into it, no matter how many people die, no matter how bad things seem. You can always get back into the game. Um, on Blood Moon and Stygian, there is there is game over mechanics, so you can't uh, always get yourself back in. But and for this challenge, if we get a single death, we are done. So that's a little bit different, though. All my gold. So you'll see you've played the main game, but not the DLC. So there are three DLCs. Four, I guess, if you count the Musketeer, but I don't, I don't count that. Anyway, um, the Crimson Court is the biggest and the... Uh, overall, most well done of the DLCs. The Crimson Court does add more things to manage, so it can be a little bit overwhelming. But it, the, the Crimson Court actually comes with three separate mini DLCs that you can activate separately. It comes with the Crimson Court itself. Uh, it comes with the Flagellant, which is a good class. It used to be overpowered. Uh, he's still strong. He's just not overpowered anymore, which is fine. Um, and it comes with Districts, which are a new set of town buildings. Uh, that buff your entire roster or certain classes. Um, and a lot of them are very good. So the Crimson Court is a pretty awesome, awesomely designed place, but does add harder thing or more things to manage, which can be annoying. Um, the Shield Breaker is just the Shield Breaker and her mechanics. And then the uh, Color Madness is a much smaller DLC, which unlocks one new zone that eventually culminates into an endless mode where you go in there and uh, kill as far as you can and collect additional rewards based on how long you're in there. I think all the DLCs are worth it. If you're only going to get one DLC, um, or you're going to get one at a time, the Crimson Court is the best one to get because it ha adds the most new content uh, to the game, and it's it's really good. On Blood Moon, uh, how would you kill Last Boss without deaths? Two mana? Yes, we've done it before. I've done it several times on Blood We've done Torchless Deathless Blood Moon before, we just didn't add all bosses to it. So I've killed uh, the final boss on Blood Moon twice with uh, with only two. Community grows. Yeah, no problem. Stone blooded. All right, let's do it. Uh, Stone blooded. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. So double healing trinkets on our Vestal. Hellion, we're gonna take Dark Bracer and Legendary Bracer. How master we're going? Scouting. Flagellant. Hmm. Look now, I think we're the Lurk Imax. Arbalist, Arbalist, Vestal, Our High Wind. Grows. Misfortune. <laughs> uh, Zelatos, thank you for the follow. By the group heal on the Battle Vessel, so it turned out to be Arbalist, Vestal, Arbalist, High Wind. I don't want to use that team. Makes me uncomfortable reading that. <laughs> How'd it work out for you, Miss Fortune? Um, our speed is already like hurting because of these other trinkets. It is the Swine Prince. Maybe I'll just put some health on him. Yeah, we'll be fine. Well, I'm gonna take scouting. This should be okay. We don't have great trinkets still. It's kind of crazy. Starts in three without trinkets. First tab in, yeah. Actually managed to complete the dungeon. Just. All right, uh, we got camping. Let's see, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills. Camping, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. All right, we're good. Another boss already. It's crazy, he just went in the wrong way. 
Uh, the right way, you mean? Food, shovels. Take some curio interaction. Now we're taking torches for curio interaction because there are scrolls here that you can use them on. Food, shovels, curio interaction. That's all we should need. All right, let's do it. Another boss already. Let's go. The ways and need to see me do it. <laughs> sacrifice are difficult to master. Those I do an invasion. Require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into. Flyland's only level one, uh, so he's just not high enough level, Mike. They get level three gear at level two, and he's still level one. Kill the little pig first. spectacularly. It's rough. Thought I was treating. Didn't want someone to die. Yeah, that's the big thing about those. Like about even the wolf one. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. So the boss will be over there. This is a weird layout. Alright. It's down. No, it's right here. It's right here. Boss one is the first location from your starting. First room from your starting location. And this is five spaces regardless which way we go. Go left. So we need to kill the spitter first. It does big damage to mark targets, and these two can mark. That one didn't mark, for whatever reason. Left, okay, that one's dead. It's not taking its action yet. Dead. Then our, it's alright, our vessel's gonna double kill. Spiders, it, it's, it's crazy. Do you like, it's... Hardly ever in between. It's either super easy or they kill you. As victories mount, I guess that's how a lot of the fights are in the game, though. Resistance. There are some that are designed to kind of whittle you down, like maggots. Maggots usually don't kill you on the, their own, but they can stress you out, give you diseases. So our goal is to kill the boss first, then uh, as long as we're in good shape after the boss, we'll, we'll keep exploring, get some more loot. Medium dungeon, so there's a 50% chance of there being a secret room. I cannot believe we don't have any head trinkets. This is the longest I've gone without head trinkets. Maybe ever. Surprise them, which is good. We'll kill the stress caster first. Hopefully. Let's get some little maggots for the flies. I know, we've no we've wondered about that too, Himmel. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. That is that is correct, Phoenix. Confidence surges Gotta make sure I don't pause too much. <laughs> Crimson Court. So you think the maggots turn into giant mosquitoes instead of flies? He dodges. Flies are the Crimson Court mosquitoes. How you doing, Phantasma? Welcome back. Be gone, fiend. Everything else is deformed here. I still wish they would have put in some sort of like tree monster in the wield. Uh, I know we talked about it before, and specifically Pineapple has talked about it before. But like, it feels like that would have been a much cooler boss than the cannon. The cannon feels kind of eh, especially because there's also the wolf fight. The cannon just sort of like, all right, let's go through the motions against these bandits. But uh, it would have been pretty cool if it would have been a big spider or like some sort of evil int type creature. So these three can give disease. Uh, they also do big damage to mark targets. And the swine drummer does mark, so we need to kill it first. Curse tree from dark. Yeah, something like that. The maggots predate the crimson court. Yeah, I think so. Kirby, we can talk about a tree boss. <laughs> yeah, it'll just blow back and forth. Drop apples that help us. Hate that tree. Which one, the Kirby one or the Dark Souls one? Oh, Dark Souls, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mosquito are, are aquatic, yep. Yep, yep. In fact, we were we were walking yesterday before the stream, and we found this little nature trail. 
and it's all like swampy right now and I was like this is like less than a mile from the house and it's gonna spawn an ungodly amount of mosquitoes and they're gonna come straight to my house kill the Kirby one Alert time. Cam, they were hanging out for the alert. The Helps out as you know. Have a good night, Cam. Ross 2, it comes the. Sorta. I'm talking. Uh, Bloodborne has a has a good spider boss. Alright, uh, maggots are eating pasta. Mmm. <laughs> Excuse me. This is why you don't go outside. That's a good, that's one good reason. There are many good reasons. I gotta stop looting stuff. Talk to the boss, I gotta stop doing that. Tape worms. The pond would hang around at dusk watching bats massacre the mosquitoes. Yeah, bats, gotta love bats, spiders, and um, possum. Right? Those things eat mosquitoes and ticks. I mean, depending on which one we're talking about, but... Gotta love those creatures. That was a really bad shuffle. Really bad shuffle. Alright. Good crit, though. Taking one of those out. And uh, she's not in position, I don't think, to where they're gonna hit her with a mark anyway. Good thing, because if they would have crit her with the mark. Oh, no, it, she is. They can't hit three. For some reason, I was thinking they could not hit three. It's not hit four, I suppose. It's a good thing. Good thing they didn't crit. Uh, let's heal her up. Oh, good crit heal. Perfect. I don't want to kill that one because it hadn't taken its action yet. Normally, I would have killed the uh, stress caster, but don't want that to crit anyone. Double kid. All right, so we'll camp here, kill the boss, hopefully. Uh, good for me. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Hmm. Let's eat this other food, I suppose. Don't need it. So we're gonna buff uh, crit damage. We gotta buff scouting for after the boss. Yeah, we'll do that. Remove disease. Not really anything else to use. I suppose we'll get rid of his last little bit of stress. One in three chance to get ambushed. And we got it. Three spiders, not too bad. Got shuffled, not the worst shuffle. Not great, but... We just have to move one person back. And the spitter's dead, so we're safe. We're safe. Now, the Webbers can crit just like any mob, but they don't do additional damage to mark targets. Not too bad. The truffle shuffle. Another abomination. <laughs> He's getting ready for it already. Flagellant. I don't want to... I don't... I was about to say, I don't want to see the flagellant do the truffle shuffle. I don't want to see anyone do the truffle shuffle. But uh, it looks like he might rip something open if he tries it. So uh, we'll just pretend like I never said that he's getting ready for it. Their formation Easy. Is broken. Get him out. The offensive. Oops. Oh, the gold. There's the boss. No fights on the way. Uh, you can use a bandage on this for loot. I don't know that we're ever going to backtrack here. Like, I'm probably going to go this way for the additional loot after the boss if it goes well. So I might as well just go ahead and see what's in this. And if it's something great, we can throw down, like, dog treats or something. Some reward yeah, it's not. For a task well performed. Just some extra food that we couldn't carry. All right, so we're not going to use Breakthrough here, so I'm going to take Adrenaline Drush just in case we need to get her off that door. Everything else can stay the same, though. Okay. 
swan time. So, for anyone that doesn't know the swine prince, regardless what chat tells you, do not attack <laughs> Prince Wilbur here. Prince Wilbur. Don't attack Wilbur until the swine prince is dead. Because it triggers the swine prince to do a massive AoE hit that doesn't take up his action. Um, so, the main thing about the swine prince, two things you have to worry about. One, Wilbur can stun and don't attack Wilbur. Because that's one lump. Yeah, Cam. And two, um, Mark, the marks on him. So the Swine Prince can deal really big damage to Mark Target. He's not guaranteed to hit a Mark Target, but he's much more likely to hit it. And uh, that makes it so this is one of the fights in the game that Arbalists are actually pretty good on because they can remove marks and stuns. The other thing about this fight is the Swine Prince is one of the few bosses in the game that only has one action per round. So it also means that Mark teams are, are super good on this boss. Usually Mark teams aren't great on bosses because bosses usually have more than one action per round and that means that uh, the Marks are falling off before you get to utilize them really. The essential here. The problem with Occultus is they can get behind. So if, if he uses Obliterate, uh, the four person AoE, or if he hits two people with it, your cultist can't really, your cultist can't AoE heal, right? So he's not going to be able to keep up with the, the damage output. Um, cultist is fine to use. If you use an occultist, though, I'd say make sure you bring someone else that can at least heal someone off Death's Door. Hey, Forever, how's it going? And he's dead. Is even more horrible than death. <laughs> GG, the Swine Prince. Cannot come soon enough. Wilbur, if you could not crit us, appreciate it. Three triple stun and a crit. Don't repose Wilbur, yeah. <laughs> Our community grows. The occultist with the damage debuff, yeah, you can still debuff it slightly. Uh, you can even debuff it with a leper, but I think it's better just to just destroy it. Jimmery. Jimmery Campbell, thank you for the follow. So your entire team last night always sucks, man. <clears throat> man, you made it. You've been making a lot of progress, huh? <clears throat> How many weeks in are you, R squared? Hellion crits. Yeah, and her crit buff is also additional damage against bleeding targets, and we have such an easy way to put bleeds on. It's a very good team overall. <clears throat> we're in great shape, so we're gonna continue. Seventeen. Yeah, but yeah, I know you You mentioned that you uh, you haven't been playing it for a while, and then you picked it back up. The, this sells for 1100 This one sells for $750. i am actually just going to toss them, though, because we're going to we're gonna go get other loots. First sight, punch free food. Mesmerized you as your eyes laid their gaze upon true salsa cookies. God, man. I had to imagine it was something else. Like, maybe those cookies are shaped like Christmas sugar cookies or whatever. Shortbread cookies. But they're actually uh, tortillas. <laughs> nope, they aren't. Yeah. Good crit. Just have our camp buffs too, which is nice. Stun the bone boy. We should be able to kill the brawler here. Good stuff. Uh, so, even though we're done with the quest, I'm basically trying to go through and replace um, any slots that are provisions with gold or items. So, what all do we need to replace still? We have five slots to replace. R squared, 500 hours on the dot. It's unbelievable that 88 people have 500 hours or more. R squared, thank you for all the hours. Appreciate R squared. Do you have any uh, games that show how many hours you have? Do you have more hours in this channel than you do in game, in like a video game? Torches, the torches are for a curio. So I'm holding on to those for free um, cork removal, strange trees. It's also on top, yeah. I do appreciate you, thank you R squared. <laughs> time here hmm 
I'm actually gonna stun the swine hooker before it crits someone to death's door. Yeah, they reduced how much, uh, how effective a single occultist's damage debuff is, but they made the leper's damage debuff um, very strong. A devastating blow. You card game you play? I'm pretty sure you have more than 500 hours of that. Yeah, I bet. Well, I'll be out or no, but I see you post about it quite a bit on the Twitter. Hey, anyway, Shims, so 643 hours. Thank you, Shims. Master probably watch 547. 223 for the monkey. 1325 on the dot for Phoenix. Thank you, guys. Plants in season one, week one. Wait, when did it start? Oh, he resists the bleed. It's all right, we got him. Executed. Courageous. Executed. Another virtue? Yeah, two virtues for you. Season five now. You play Darkest Dungeon than you have in Darkest Dungeon. I think that's true for a lot of people. Good. I like that. We have people, uh, obviously, that have been here since before Darkest Dungeon, or because of another game during Darkest Dungeon that have never even played the game. Don't even own it. Ivax, for example. Ivax doesn't have or play the game. Back to the lurk, the UI squared. Impressive. Big hits. You don't own either? Yeah, there's another. I know there's several of you. This I've actually just mentioned it the other night. Success. Well, I mean, it depends on how far you want to go back. I was I was talking about these change. Most of these changes that I was talking about were back during Color of Madness, which is like what seven, seven or eight months ago now. Uh, you can use herbs on this, but we don't have any. Use herbs on this, we don't have any. If we don't run into any scrolls soon, I'll drop the torches. Torches are for the scroll. Uh, scrolls only appear as a curio in the wounds, and you can use a scroll to get rid of a random negative quirk on a character. It's one of the reasons I bring a couple of torches to this dungeon. Chrome has minus damage, minus protection, yeah. What I was saying is you can you can stack that so. A lot of people after Color Madness came out, instead of using the Occultist to debuff like the um, the Prophet, they'd use a Leper instead. Okay, that one's dead. The slow death. Ordered some books from Amazon the other day and just looked at the tracking history. I'm Shipped from Texas to Illinois. On a different part of Texas. I've had that happen too. Yeah, I've never quite understood that either, Phoenix. And then... I mean, this is obviously different, but it's also annoying when you check tracking on something and it's been like 10 minutes away from you for like two days or something. It's like on Monday it arrived at the Indianapolis Sorting Center or whatever. And then it's like Thursday. It's like, Where is it? I can drive I can drive over there and pick it up, but you can't do that, of course. Oh, yeah, we had something very similar, actually, last year, Phoenix. I, I want to say it was, like, in Arkansas, and it, uh, was it last year? Yeah, it, it came from, like, Arizona or something to Arkansas, and then we went back to Arizona and then came to Indiana. I don't know. Used to play it for longer than you watched our stream is RimWorld. Played Star Wars Galaxies, x wing Alliance, Jedi Academy. Old Republic, 500 plus, though. I don't know. It's probably a good thing that older games didn't have overall time spent on them probably wouldn't have wanted to know also it would have been fuel for like my mom Be like you play too much tomorrow saturday rakes so did you en you ended up ordering it from the u.s site but a victory nonetheless uh, critical scout no secret room all right i'm gonna throw down the torches and of course what that's gonna do so it's going to spawn it. This is going to be a, a scroll now. Star Wars Rebellion. Um, the last Star Wars game I played was the Lego Star Wars games. And they were actually pretty fun. Surprisingly fun. Um, There was one I played a lot on the N64 back in the day. And I can't remember. 
So I threw down the bandages, and that's what you use on this. Just threw them down. Can I consider the electric smoker from the US, though? Humble Star Wars games are on sale right now. Yeah, for May the 4th, be with you. Here's the scroll. God, it's another one of these. All right, it's good. It's all right. Should be around to do weird things. Four spiders. So again, this is a team that can just kill you. Um, our Hound Master is now stunned and marked. These two could just crit him and he's dead. Now Punish used to be able to hit position three. Oh no. <laughs> oh good, 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 good. 13, no crit though. More shall gather. More shall enter the fray. Lost my sanity. Hey, Lost. Lost, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Those coming from Lost Stream, welcome. Or welcome back. I'm Adam. This is Adam versus Everything. I have a soundbite for that, but I don't have it open at the moment. <laughs> um, playing some Darkest Dungeon. If you have any questions about Darkest Dungeon at all, let me know. I've streamed the game for I'm going on to 19 hour, or 1900 hours now. That's 1,900. Um, or just feel free to sit back, chill, relax, lurk. Ace of Spades. It's the only card I... It's a Christmas miracle. Ace of Spades. That's the only card I need. Ace of Spades. Thank you for the follow. How are you doing, Lost? What were you up to? Oh, you were playing API Error. Yes, that's one of my favorite games, API Error. Um, Dark Souls, of course, of course. Hey, everybody. My name's Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? Hey, Buzz Bait Productions. Welcome in. Thank you for coming over. Scrub Gink. Welcome in. Can pretty much one round kill a party member. Opening is nasty. Yeah, and one of the things, like, usually surprising an enemy is a good thing. Uh, with spiders, it's like a double edged sword situation, right? Community. So with spiders, if you surprise them and then you miss or they dodge, they are pretty fast. They usually get to go twice in a row, right? They get to go that at the end of the surprise round and then at the beginning of the next round, and they can just kill one or two members. Nothing you can do about it. My wife seems to always get a kick out of Cletus. She does. Uh, Buzzbait Productions, thank you for the host as well. And thank you for the follow. Hacks laden yeah, I know. I think that's pretty awesome, Phoenix. Low on supplies. Not much, Ace of Spades. Uh, we're doing a world first challenge on this game at the moment. So we're playing the hardest difficulty with zero light that makes the game harder. We're doing all bosses, all DLC, no modded content. And uh, we're doing it where if we get a single death from anything, we start over. At any point during the game, first week, very final quest, any death, we start over. Are you about to steal more beans? She comes in here like once a stream. No, no, not once a stream. Like once a week during the stream these days. Tonight she's been here like six times. Take my beans. No lights, no deaths, no motor cars. Not a single luxury. No deaths. Yeah, no deaths. No deaths at all. Just take the whole bag. And don't tell her that, him you? She doesn't like everything in the bag. She's just picking out the best ones. Which is somehow better. Alright, let's throw down the keys and see if we find a secret room. This neighbor started doing P90X. Down the last boss, the very end, you just need to start over, yes. Yep. On the run. Yeah, exactly. So we've done Torchless Deathless Blood Moon before, now we're adding all bosses to it. Uh, now, a slight spoiler alert, if you've never seen the end of Darkest Dungeon, you might want to mute for a second. But at the end of Darkest Dungeon, the, the final boss has a mechanic to where it insta-kills you down to two members of your team. Nothing you can do about it if you bring a full team. So the way around that, that I did last time, and so I know it's possible, is on this hardest mode on the game, we take only two heroes uh, right off the bat. So I do the entire final dungeon, the final quest of the entire game with only half a team. And it takes a very long time. It's like a four hour process. Um, but if we made it all the way there and one of those two people died, I'd have to start over. Zero deaths, yep. See the end? Cover your innocent eyes. 
I was trying to, so, uh, there is a beta now for, um, Moonlit Dungeon that, and Claire sent out a sign-up form, and I have not signed up for it yet. I'm trying to decide if I want to, because I don't know if it can be streamed, I have to ask her. But, uh, anyway, and one of the, what are the questions uh, in it is, fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Uh, Zelatas, thank you for the subscription. Love and say it to, to Zell, if you guys would, or Zeal. I know you said I can pronounce it either way, but, uh, love and say to Zeal, if you guys would. Zeal, thank you for the subscription. The Twitch Prime counts the same as a tier one subscription, so it financially supports me and my bean-eating wife. Thank you, Zeal. Um, so anyway, on that sign-up form for Moonlit Dungeon, we're done. Oh, yeah, someone let Master Pib know, please. Oh, you did. Thank you, Phoenix. Success so clearly what? in view. Or what kind? Is it merely a trick of the light? All right, I'm, I'm still going to try to come over here, actually, since we have food left. Uh, anyway, on the sign-up forum, it said something like, how many times have you completed Darkest Dungeon? And the options were like, zero, one, two, or like eight, or something like that, eight or more. And I was like... Like, I don't have enough digits. I think we've streamed the completion of Darkest Dungeon probably about 17 or so times. It's a lot of times. Eight plus then, yeah. It was just, it was just kind of interesting that was listed as the top end. I guess most people don't play that many times, obviously. There was another question on it too. What was it? Oh, it was like, uh, list the hardest difficulty that you've beaten the game on. For example, have you beaten it only on Radiant, or have you beaten it on Torchless, Deathless, Blood Moon? And I was like, that's directed at me. <laughs> Don't think about it, yeah. Does, uh, status effects affect the run any? Yeah, um, I mean, which ones are you talking about? Like, negative quirks, or, like, diseases and stuff? Or which one do you mean exactly, Scrub? Bad Moonlight Dungeons release schedule. No, she's gonna hold over your head forever. Don't sign up for beta. She hasn't been here in a while. So I I mean, I'm not reading that in a mean way. Um, let, me, let me take a look. I'm gonna oust Claire. I don't do this to anyone else. Well, I mean, aside from other like super regulars in the stream. What'd you say? Nothing. No, I'm not gonna check it now, I guess. She hasn't been here since March 13th? <laughs> Claire. Um, both the illness and negatives. Yeah, they affect it uh, in a big way. So it's something we gotta always manage when you play Darkest Dungeon in general. Let's go away crap. Hopefully not. I was just, I was just joking. Just joking. In fact, it affects it in a big way. Yeah, we have to keep track of that a lot. So there's some that won't really matter to us in this because we're only using zero light. So there are some negatives that we don't get rid of that normally I would. Um, but we absolutely have to keep track of negative quirks and diseases and remove the most detrimental ones. And the ones I have sort of like a tier list that we went over last night where like if it's a negative effect that status that will have a chance to cause the run to end, those are like the top of the list. And there's some lesser ones that we don't worry about, like uh, will not drink or something. Like, will not drink at the bar in town. March 13th? That was almost two months ago. Almost two months ago. Still no Hell's Hairpin. We do need... We do need another Vestal. We have a spot for it, too. Leave imposters to rely on? Absolutely not. Yeah, but I mean, we have people of all different um, experience with the dungeon. So if you have any, like, complete beginner of game newbie questions, that's completely fine. Or anything else. Scientific Vestal. We're just not getting a lot of good offers here. Really want that Hell's Hairpin. Did you lose more? Huh? 
Why don't you do this like over that table, right over there? She's on. She's on the in the floor. She's sitting on the floor sorting jelly beans, making sure she picks out all the best ones. Anyway, uh, we could do this medium ruins. What is a hairpin? The hairpin is a class specific trinket for the Hellion. Um, it gives her crit and accuracy in low light. And it's a really good trinket. We lose, we use a lot of Hellions, so. Is there any other way to eat jelly beans? Uh, she says no. All right. We might just do that ruins. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a few more of these characters. Um, let's see, who's next in the queue? All the characters are named after regulars of the channel, so uh, once you have been here for 10 hours minimum, you can join the queue. It's not, it's not sub only, it's just based on time. What is that one? A sister of Day. Sure, I see the radiant power of my god a bit from my own hands. Can you be sure he's there? Yeah. <laughs> We actually need another front line. I might take one of those. I usually don't in this, but uh, I might. So Jalia is in, and then a very fine name here. We got Skidmark, the Jester. Lena Ben watching. Wife says, hi, can you turn off that light? This thing might have been directed towards you though. <laughs> Lost thing again for the host. Um, I appreciate it. How did Dark Souls go? Were you, I mean, I don't know, I don't know why I'm asking. Were you PvPing? You oh wait, you were playing the Daughters of Ash thing. Uh, someone here has been trying to get me to play that. Regular of the channel has been, I have no idea. I, I would be blind to it. Uh, how is it? How is it? I saw you playing it. I don't know why I asked you what you were doing. Tell me of this thing that you were doing that I already know. Cat man. Oh, and hello to your wife. Is your wife also sitting on the floor eating your jelly beans? Or is this just an Adam problem? It's pretty good, but how ready are you with Dark Souls 1? Uh, I played, I don't know, two, three hundred hours of Dark Souls 1. Went through New Game 2 or 3 or something. Something to that effect. Just Adam problems. Gotcha. The promise of payment. See, this isn't a thing. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Shoulders all around stiff. You need to stop. Did you do something to it, Scruff? It's only eating them and not pelting you with the nasty tasting ones. Don't give her ideas. Now she's over there laughing. Guess you'd call it laughing. Cackling. All right, um, so we're gonna take a Vestal. I'm gonna take a level zero Vestal to this. I'll try to carry her. Bad healer, what are these Vestals? We have a bad healer and a scientific Vestal. Guess I'll take the scientific one. Ergman, it's the closest thing to a new soul experience you'll get. A few times in ambushes. Yeah, and the thing is, I haven't played the first Dark Souls. Like, the last time I played it was several years ago, so I would be sort of re-blind, so to say, to Dark Souls if I played it in general. Like, I, I remember the bosses, but a lot of the paths and stuff like that, I probably have forgotten by now. Um, but I don't know how much different the Daughters of Ash thing is. Alright, um, I think I'm probably going to take... I don't want to take level twos because I don't want it to get level three right now because then they are uh, they can't go on to apprentice dungeons anymore. What? I've been awarded a jelly bean. Thanks. Where's Vash? Arm early in the morning. Our shoulder stuff. Ah, gotcha. Hmm. I think I'll just take a jester. Take Extreme Ling. Extreme Ling. Congratulations. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Um, I'll take a high one. 
Let's see if either of our high wind have anything spiritual, clotter. Those are all right. So we'll take Gurg, and then we'll also take uh, Peter. Should be okay. Yes. It's pretty different. Paths are diverted and bosses remixed. Four hours in. Give it a solid 8.5. It's pretty good. Jesus. It's all right. Just sit them on that table over there. Eventually, the germs will get off of them. <laughs> Force you to shut down now. Later, wait. Oh no, worries. Lost. Lost. Thank you for again for the host for hanging out. Have a good night. All right. So we got Juliet, Skid, and Cat are in. Scrub Gang, thank you for the follow. Are you headed out? She wasted nine beans too. My headache's coming back. <laughs> Why well, she will share beans of the chat? There you go. Any disease we need to get rid of this week? No. We're almost ready to go back out again. Any negative quirks to get rid of? Not the devil's beans? No, these aren't the devil's beans. These are God's beans. Don't turn that off, please. Or that one. Helomedia, obsessed material things. No camera anymore. Yeah, jelly beans. Jelly belly beans. Obsessed with cleanliness kind of sucks here. Or media. Those are force interaction quirks. Obsessed with sainthood. Bye, nice lady. Love you. Um, yeah, there's not like any super, super negative things to get rid of. Guess we'll just get rid of Hagiomania. Might as well. Nothing to lock in, and now we're ready to go. Try this slice of beans. Yeah, the Harry Potter ones. She and I did that a long time ago when they were new. Uh, I will not be doing that again. What is it? Bernie bots every flavor beans? Bean boozled? Yes. Hey Gar, how's it going? Yes, bean boozles. Alright. So healing trinkets on our Vestal. Uh on our high wind we're gonna do a dark bracer. Legendary bracer. I'm gonna end up selling the style war bracer now. We're not gonna use that anymore. Our jester. The jester is downside, he has a really low health, so we're gonna put extra health on him. And on our man at arms, we'll do. He's not really slow, so. Miss some um, DD. Where are we? I think we're on week 22 or something, Gar. Still on run 20, so this one's actually stabilizing a lot. I didn't fight out, so welcome back. I hate spicy candy, it's just terrible. I like the cinnamon candy. That's a different kind of spicy, I suppose. Uh, we'll do stun chance on him as well. On our jester, we have one more slot available. Just throw the minus stress on him, I think. Okay. Should be good. Let's do it. Food, shovels, uh, curio interaction. That's all we need. Let's see. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrade, trinkets, skills, camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Okay. We're good. Food, shovels. Curio stuff. Let's do it. Back in. Okay. Candy ginger. Love cinnamon, yeah. The rampart shield and the man at arms. Uh I used to use it more than I do now. I don't really use it too much anymore. It's it's okay. It's alright. Um it, I guess it just depends on what else I found in the game, but I, I typically don't use it very much, honestly. To be banned. Cinnamon is delicious. Why do you want to ban something that people love, Gar? You a Cory Rakes? Ginger is the best spice. Uh, all right, let's take out the stress caster first. We surprise him, which is really good. People don't love cinnamon candy. It's not true. One of my favorites out of the Jelly Bellies is the spicy cinnamon one. 
in uh, Red Hots? You don't like Red Hots? You don't get like a, a fireball candy? Come on. Take four keys. Eh, it's okay. We'll probably find some in here, puzzle. I know you can use them on the chest, you can use them on the secret room, you can also use it on the uh, glass cabinet curio. But it's only a medium dungeon, and typically we find a key or two. Cinnamon gummy bears, have I had those? Stiff shoulders, what do you sleep on? Sock scrub. Hey Mixie, welcome in. How you doing, Mixie? Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. The ruins does have more use for keys. Usually. I think four is plenty. Three or four is plenty. For a medium. If it was a long, I would take one more probably. Can these black jelly beans taste like artificial fennel? Yes. I agree. Black jelly beans. Well, I mean, they're not the worst, though. It could be coffee flavor, you know? Fireball. Yes, good. I'm going to uh, buff our speed accuracy and crit for next round. So the Bone Arbalist can do really big damage. Um, I think I'm going to stun this one. Uh, apparently not. 10% stun resist. 10% stun resist. I'm going to bellow. This is going to do a couple things. The main thing, though, is now that we have... Good dodge. 10% or 100. It's 10. But it still hit us. Or it still worked. 10% isn't zero, though. Alcoholics? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, it resists 100% of stuns. 10% of the time, yeah. Black licorice. Yeah, I don't like black licorice either. This is pretty uh, not good here. All four of them get to take their action. We didn't end up killing anything. What's well, being coffee? I just don't like it. Ooh. Continually on hey, Don. Don, welcome back. How you doing, Don? No spoilers. Don. Confidence One health off death's door. Uh, let's guard them just in case. Probably fine, but let's just be safe. No, absolutely not at all. Even the the faintest taste of it. Even in things that other people think you can't taste it in. There was these things when we lived in Washington State uh, called big trains, and they were basically like almost like milkshakes, but. The, the base of it was just a little bit of coffee. No one else could taste the coffee in it, but I could. Eradicated. Spoiler terrorist. Drink both coffee and tea. I like tea. That's what I drink the whole stream, but no coffee for me. Maybe there's that fountain there. Zero deaths. Yep, yep. Conversation of flavors. How do you feel about cilantro? Uh, I'm fine with cilantro, and no, it does not taste like soap to me. Doesn't taste like soap to me. Love cilantro. A faint hope blossoms. Not this again, Mixie. Alright, so we're going to use this to heal up our Vestal. So we're not in the rooms. We don't even have to go down here, but I'm going to. For the loots. Most bitter herbs ever. I don't mind cilantro at all. Uh, it's a couple things that we I I like it a lot on. 
An herb used in cooking. Some people don't like the taste. Yeah, and apparently there's a certain uh, gene or something that makes cilantro. Ooh, that was a really good AoE heal. Tastes like soap for a lot of people. Does it to me. Okay, let's get our repose going. Uh, there is a chance that we crit kill, so I'm gonna hit one of these that hasn't taken its action yet. Well struck. Okay, there's a chance we crit it down to one health, apparently. Good in salsa. Fish tacos, cilantro. Uh, we'll go ahead and take this one out. Press this one's gonna get hit by the AoE because of the no post. I'm a little worried about the Jester again, though. You might have the gene. Yeah, maybe. I mean, not. Of course, you may not and just not like it in general. Everyone's taste buds are a little different. Are eating fish tacos right now? Man, I haven't had fish tacos in a couple of years. A couple of years. They're good. I haven't had them since we moved from Arizona. Man, these crit heals on point. Just get more stress heal again, why not? We're zeroed out now. Stargoes are good, yeah. Yeah, man. Whom oregano was a bane of his existence? Really? I use a lot of oregano, actually. Like Italian seasoning in general. Hey, Igdu, welcome back. How you doing, Igdu? We don't need uh, the torch. I actually don't need blood yet in this run, either. It's over there for a minute. Ah. We've had a lot closer calls than that one. Never know, though. Care of the team, put in some work. Uh, oh, crap. I kind of wanted to camp back there. Oh, this is bad. If I'm tired, watch The Office. Tune in late. Oh, no worries, Igdu. One good crit. Pretty much, depending on what else is still up. So we're going to camp here for a couple reasons. One is to get inventory space. Um, another is because that curio, if you use holy water on it, you get a damage boost until you camp. So we're going to make it so we get that damage boost for the rest of the dungeon, because we're not going to camp anymore. And all I did here was buff, um, basically dodge and crit. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. So now I can use this. I'm going to use it on the high woman. If you don't use Holy Water, you get plus 20. If you use Holy Water, you get plus 30. Our Hyman is going to be hitting more often. Man, still no... Well, no Shambler, but also no Collector. It's kind of getting weird. It's Miller time. How do you do Miller time? Good dodge. Uh, yeah, we'll just heal him. Don't need to stress heal, really. So I'll just buff. Doing okay. Still have this stupid headache, basically, that hasn't gone away in over a week, but... Overall, doing okay. We'll bellow. Slow him down. This collector part of the all-boss challenge? Um, I mean, not really, but... It's just that... We usually get him so frequently that it's just odd that we haven't gotten him. And also, an apprentice is pretty easy to kill, so it's almost like free trinkets, free money. Um... I doubt we'll go through the game without running into the, the Collector. It, it would be very weird if we don't run into the Collector. The whole game. Never know, though. Like in the last few months, because you feel the Shambler Curios Collectors don't exist in the game? No. Um, we ran into a lot. It's just this run we haven't really. So there, there's been no change in uh, Collector or Shambler spawn rate. <clears throat> Yeah, like Phoenix said, mainly the all boss part are all the bosses that are on the caretaker's checklist, yeah. But never hidden. Three collectors I week five? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes we get collectors in the uh, very first dungeon after the, the tutorial dungeon, and then sometimes we don't get them all the way until veteran. So the chance for a collector in Apprentice Dungeon is 3% when you enter a hall battle if you have your inventory more than 60% full. Run four? Yeah, two or three Shamblers. I think the third Shambler was the one that killed us, actually. Maybe the lighting. Uh, it's, it's not the lighting. It's stress headaches. 
stress headaches and also probably the weather changing has a little bit to do with it. I know this type of headache. Let's see. Holy water in this for guaranteed loot. Well, I mean, I don't think it's worth emptying 40% of your inventory not to run into a collector. Lack of sleep, that could be, that's definitely part of it too. Which is also part of the stress. <laughs> Now, the Shambler spawn, how the Shambler spawn works is if it's zero light, a Shambler can just spawn as a hall of battle if it's zero light only. Other than that, you have to summon a Shambler at a Shambler's altar. So if you use a Holy Water on this, it gets rid of neg or, uh, stress. If you don't use a Holy Water, there's a 33% chance of getting a negative quirk cured. It could also give you stress, though, or loot. Uh, we're going to try to get rid of Zoophobia. Actually, let's try to get rid of Scientific. Nope. Free stress! It's alright. 24 stress. Are we getting your headaches? As yours, yours is a combination of stress and weather too, isn't it? So it went away much quicker and easier than you expected. You sent it my way. <laughs> Did you break out the old Ouija board? Summon a spirit and send your headache to me. Not intentionally. Still believe in the power of science, yeah. yeah. Not getting a headache. Not very healthy. No, definitely not. Confessionals are all things you just tactically avoid. The confessionals, uh, I wouldn't... I, I don't really avoid them. It just depends, though. So, if I didn't have the jester... Uh, I would have probably not tried that. But, I mean, if you have Holy Water, obviously, it's a guaranteed stress relief. But, even without Holy Water, you can get rid of, uh, a negative quirk. Let's see, one, two, well, we should be fine getting rid of that for food. Just in case you run your own closet, something else. But the Jester can get rid of that 24 stress, no problem. Dangerous it is. Now, stacks of books and bookcases... I do avoid those ones. Now, bookcases... I mean, you can get a positive from a book. Bookcases can give you a map as well, like that reveals all curios, but I usually the percentage trade-off isn't worth it to me. Still run 20, Selga. Yep, yep. This is the run. Hopefully. I mean, this is the run. Uh, two stress casters, we surprise them, which is good. Uh, this one is bleedable, so I think I'm just going to try to kill it round one. Did not bleed. Obliterated. Now it's dead. Holy water all that often, unfortunately, unless it's a boss run. Depends on the dungeon. Um, I always take one holy water in case of an Eldritch Altar to the four main dungeons. Um... The Ruins, I usually take three Holy Waters because there are multiple Curios that use Holy Waters. And then um, the Warrens, I'll take like one extra Holy Water because it has an extra Curio, uh, the Urn. Or not the Urn, excuse me, the Bone Pile. It just depends which, which zone. But I always take one. Inspiration. Um, five days plus out sleep. It's crazy, man. Destroyed. Lucky. Not lucky for the lack of sleep, but lucky that it hasn't screwed you up. Does it kill you make you stronger? Not always. Trust me. Uh, I'll try to stun this one so we don't get any more stress. Or weakens you, yeah. It spells kills you. That's what I was thinking. Two hundred and fifty gold. There's two curios in this that use the medicinal herbs. One of them mainly gives um, food. We don't need that. Eh, I'm gonna throw down seven fifty gold trinket for now. Who do I want to use this on? Use it on the 
festival, I suppose. Dodge and protection. Nine percent trap disarm. What do we get? A box. A fortune waiting to be uh, how many more provisions do we have? Four slots. Not a lot of dungeon left. Eh. What doesn't kill you is not finished yet. Conversation tonight is amazing. We've gone through a lot of topics. Double stress caster again. No surprise on him this time. All sleep missed. Yeah, that might happen sooner than the normal. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna buff speed. I was thinking about stress healing her or killing that um, stress caster, but I think buffing speed and bellow is a better call overall. As long as bellow hits, it was a better call. A devastating blow. Good crit. Uh, man. I think I'll de-stress her. Not unless you would like to be banned from the channel, Zeal. <laughs> Try to get someone else banned. Um. Gotta, I don't know. I'm, am I just stun? Yeah, we should stun. Oh my god, the 10% stun resist again. Again. Ugh. Who spoiled? No one spoiled anything. Sin just did death blow and died. That's what you're talking about. Two week? Here it's more like two year. <laughs> Masterfully executed. Anywhere? I see memes. Ignu also dead. Be wary. Triumphant pride possesses. So I think twice because you're smart though. <laughs> Notice that. All right, what's in the box? Let the stress cast relapse. Yeah, not intentionally. That was a repost doing, not mine. I mean. That was next level strategizing. Vigorous Kim. We'll stress heal this whole fight. Trade more conversation. <laughs> Alright, we need to kill the Bone Arbalist first. Bone Arbalist uh, hasn't really had crit chance, even in Apprentice, so. I want to kill it first, unless there's a stress caster as well. Uh, just done. The Patch's head, spoiler alert. Yeah, I think that one's alright. That, that movie, how old is Seven? Seven came out in like what? 98? 99? That's alright. We can spoil that one. Be gone. Practice Be juggling? Gone. How's your finger doing? <laughs> Haven't seen it yet? No! <laughs> 95? Older than I thought. What's in the box? Oh, I'll just let Count Me Out answer that. I was about to answer for Count Me Out. Get it. Bruce Willis. Another Bruce Willis is dead the whole time? From our lands. That's why the movie was called Die Hard all along. I know, I've done that joke like 15 times. God. No wonder Hans Gruber couldn't kill him. He was dead the whole time. What a twist. Titanic sinks. <laughs> mm. 
beams are good. Luke Skywalker became one with the Force. Luke's father is Indiana Jones. Um, no. That one's not true. 50 gold. I'll actually drop it. We still got some dungeon left. I can't drill on the shovels yet. The week 78 shambler was carbon. Uh, we only had five bosses left to finish this challenge. Hey, look at that. We just go leisurely walk around grab the curios. And it can brought balance. That's what I've always thought too. You know? Jedi are always talking about balance this, balance that. No, they don't want balance. The Jedi want the good side, the light side of the force to be greater than the dark side. They preach that balance crap. <laughs> brought devastation to the series. Finding this hmm. stuff is only the first test. Now um, it must be carried home. This was a map, right? It wasn't a critical scout. If it was a map, we could still get a critical scout and maybe find a secret room. Doubt it though. Alright, uh let's go grab that other curio. Probably not worth it, but we'll see. Might even spawn some extra battles. No side of that ever equally balanced. Dead Stark is father of Tony Stark. That makes sense. Kylo Ren's a disappointing character. <laughs> but she has a staff. Makes it okay. Uh, we'll probably spawn an extra battle. I might as well. We have the food to do, so. See a room incoming? Oh, man. Glittering gold. Oh, I just lay down. <laughs> Paid for in blood. Is misfortune correct? Now oh, we're good. So I'm gonna go in and out of this room. Uh, anytime you enter a hall, you have a chance to spawn a hall battle or a trap or a hunger proc. Uh, we just spawn a trap. So we're gonna keep going in and out of this until we spawn some extra battles. Because we have eight food left, and we can replace that food with gold or items. As long as we get some extra battles. Um, right now the room, or the hall, is full of traps almost. The thing is, too, you don't know if a hunger battle, or a hunger battle, yeah. <laughs> a hunger proc has spawned because they're invisible. Yeah, I killed the Shambler, and we were actually in okay shape. And then suddenly my Vestal just got crit to death's door. The, the extra sad thing about it, too, Carbon... Not only do we only have five weeks or five bosses remaining, but it was literally our only death blow check of the entire run. We had gone 78 weeks without having a single death blow check. And our very first one of the entire run was also our last one. Don't go don't 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 go too political side though. That's one of the few like we don't have a ton of rules but <clears throat> just to make it so that we don't have like arguments and crap going on <clears throat> something like the hunger games the hunger battles let's run straight through the traps it's free stress so we don't really get into politics or religion that's about it or spoilers i think that's pretty much it if i'm playing a game blindly by God, let me fail. <laughs> no death low run? Ugh. Unless the religion is pizza. <laughs> um... Yeah, I kind of noticed that too, R-squared, actually. Let's kill the stress caster first, hopefully. Let's put damage into him. No death sword run, I don't know. You know how many old roads would fail? Oh, the dodge. Okay, stress caster is dead. We can uh, stress heal the rest of this with our jester. 
that's gone pretty well so far, I shouldn't say, ever. <clears throat> Can't believe we only got four Cletuses. It saves the amount of Cletus. Don't jinx it, I know. Knock on wood. <laughs> hey everybody, my name is Cletus. There's the Anybody wants the Cletus over. tipping point. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. I understand the under the influence part of it, but uh, still. How long does this type of run uh, usually take? So it just depends. Like you, if you mean a complete run. Uh, in in-game time, we'll probably finish this in the early 90s for the weeks. And the earliest we could finish it is about week 88. Um, so as far as, like, real time, I'm not sure exactly, Neroff, how much it would be. We haven't found a Shambler on this attempt, no. But the thing is, in Apprentice Dungeons, it's only a 1% chance. Sometimes it feels like more, but it's only a 1% chance at a Shambler in Apprentice. Uh, we'll definitely fight Shamblers in Veteran and Champion. Push on to the tasks I think I want to summon one more fight. 80%. It's a Christmas miracle. Why and wait. How does someone decide to name their child Cletus? It's a... What do you mean? Blood. That was a good strong name. Cletus Factory ran into some delays. <laughs> Spin out Cletus is conservatively. So there's one more battle. We'll see if we can spawn anymore. So yeah, so look, we haven't ran into one this uh, this attempt. Attempt 20 is not seen a Shambler yet. But I'm sure we will. Hey, version 3. Thank you for using the Humble link, or at least posting it either way. For anyone that doesn't know, Humble Bundle uh, sells more than just bundles and subscriptions. They have a storefront, and it's generally Steam keys they sell. And Humble Bundle is pretty awesome for a couple reasons, and I'm not saying that just because I'm partnered. I was using them before I was partnered with them. But uh, when you buy a game on there, uh, if you use that link, 5% of it comes back and supports the stream. But even if you don't, if you buy a game on there, the developers get a bigger portion of the of the sell price. And uh, part of your purchase goes towards charity. It's a pretty awesome, pretty awesome place. All right, let's see if we can spawn with those 1% shamblers. Bad assignment, name him Cletus. Uh, no, I don't want to name him after my twin. That would be weird. I think Cletus think of the manliest sideburns. Max hallway battles, without respotting them, um, I've, the most I've ever seen in a hall is two, without doing what I just did. Keep back holding with you. I hate beer. Well, I mean, I don't really drink. I grew up in southeast Tennessee in a very rural southern Appalachian setting. Um, but Back not really. Quad maggot really sucks. They can give disease. Uh, they can give stress. And they actually don't drop loot in normal lights. Now they have a chance to drop loot in zero light. They have a 70% chance for a loot drop. But uh, all risk for little reward. Moonshine. Count me out a drink with you and on my behalf. Success <laughs> so clearly and So for a shambler, they remembered the challenge was. Of the light? I'm not really searching for a shambler. I'm looking to get additional loot to make the most out of every week. This team is actually pretty good against the Shambler, though, so if we were going to run into one, this would be a good one. God, friggin'... Friggin' maggots? A Shrek mod for Sekiro. <laughs> uh, who was it? Rakes and someone else mentioned, too. There's a mod to make the Great Serpent Round Thomas breaks. the Tank Engine or whatever. <laughs> what arrow? <laughs> the Octo Maggot. Gets reposted. Who gets attacked? Uh, I think it's the one that does the attacking, actually. I think we actually tested that one, Misfortune. So the guard doesn't protect for the repost. Do you have tequila delivery? We just send some to Randall. Exposed to a killing blow. Yes, yes, yes. Uh. Impressive. 
You don't want rakes in your house, so. Every peasant had a rakes in their house. Are you a peasant? Some intense and dedicated guarding, yeah. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. Peasant rakes quote, we were playing uh, The Witcher 3, and every time I went into a house, they had broken rakes. R-A-K-E-S. And rakes was like semi-lurking. And every time I said, oh, another broken rakes, or more broken rakes, rakes would, would come and be like, are you, saying, are you saying rakes? I keep hearing rakes and not rakes. So... That's the origin of that quote. It's mighty personal. Um, I want to stress you this whole fight. Rakes, rakes, yeah. Finally, no maggots. Yeah. Crit. So this is the last fight we're going to do. We don't have any food for another hunger proc. So it doesn't matter how much health we come out of this fight with. It only matters that we are alive. And the lower stress we can come out of this, the better. Um, that we don't have to heal any stress back at home. How many quotes? 1,500 and something. Almost 1,600. It's crazy. I'm going to stall this a little bit if we can. Person 1600. So this way we can get one more stress heal in before we're out. Yes. God, how many quotes were there when you became a mod, Phoenix? There was only like a few hundred, wasn't there? It feels like just a couple hundred. Maybe 600? Was there that many? I didn't even think there was that many at the time, but... Yeah, even so. So Angel was popular through show. It was Angel and your friend of mine. Just come in after the new episode. Be like, I was watching Angel last night. We read a wig out. Be like, WTF, you're stalking me. Uh, Angel. I never, I never watched Angel. I hated his character on Buffy. So I never watched his spinoff show. I absolutely hated his character. <laughs> All right, it's into that dungeon. The great ruins Quote OC, OCD, us, good thing. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. Us humans, almost misread that. Uh, twenty-five thousand gold plus a trinket to sell. Let's see what the damage is here. Less healing from the occultist doesn't matter. A skill gambler doesn't matter. Hagomania sucks. Ansi is really bad. Ansi is one of the worst negative quirks. A Buffy, Angel, Supernatural, all those shows. It's a bummer, make a show off the dude you hate. Yeah, right? Who else was it? Uh, that that Faith character. You guys, man, I haven't watched Buffy in so in a long time, but I've watched the whole thing. And uh, God, you guys remember Buffy? Remember that Faith character? God, I hated her too. Anyway, uh, Ancy's not good. Daredevil, it's fine. Gothics, doesn't matter. We gotta get rid of Ansi. Ansi, if you leave them at town, they'll keep generating 20 stress on themselves. Uh, if they're inactive in town, all the way up to 100. Was she the redhead? No, she wasn't the redhead. She came later on. She was, uh, like a black-haired. She, she was... She tried to act, like, super tough all the time. She wore, like, a jacket, which means you're tougher. The character Faith, Mixie. <laughs> I'm able to separate the actor from the character. Gotta correct things naturally. <laughs> hey, another seer or a seer stone. Still no Hell's hairpin. Uh, we'll probably take some of the stagecoach, actually. Let's go see what's available here. Still no Hell's Hairpin. Jeez, man. Well, we might just start killing bosses. Bad healer Vestal. Yeah, and we have one we have a scientific one, we have a bad healer one. There's another bad healer one. 
I guess we are just gonna go kill a boss. Sodden crew or the hag. Um, do we have two highwaymen ready? We just go kill the hag. Let's possibly have a team of healers. Yeah, you could. Uh, there are some there are some strong characters that have off healing, and you can you can absolutely use four vestals and still go. It's super boring. We've used four vestals before. Uh, it's not great. I'll run from the church. 82% of vehicles sold this year had a touch screen. <laughs> hmm. Do I want to level them up first? Eh, they're probably fine. They'll probably be fine. That's the kind of confidence you want on your run. Probables. They'll probably be fine. Beagle still has buttons, as does your phone. <laughs> My phone does not have buttons. Well, I mean, it has like an on-off button and a volume button. That's it. Hmm. Take Jerezy. Two, you get another Talisman of Flame. You realize, yes. Yep, carbon. Game gives you an extra if you lose your first, first one. Well, that's the worst that could happen. Yeah. Exactly. Cat Batman has a bat on his chest. Let's see what you at the moment. <laughs> so many people that watch the channel that talk about their cat. Cat's currently sleeping on me, laying on my lap. I can't move. I have to keep watching you because the cat is laying on my lap asleep. Cat, the cats are on my side. It's good. Oh, this might be bad. All right. Yeah, Grumpy is one. Phoenix. Nuka Cola and HP Lovecraft. Can I sleep it on your PJs? Earlier, one of our cats was so starved for attention that as I was walking to go downstairs, before I got to the stairs, he ran over in front of me as I'm walking and immediately just, like as fast as anything can possibly do, flips onto his back with a stomach up in the air. Like, no, you stop walking immediately. Stop everything and you rub this belly until I bite you. Cats do that. <laughs> hey, flop ya. Finale the hag. We could actually do that. That wouldn't be too bad in this scenario. I just uh, replace... Um, I don't know. I guess I could replace the buff. Yeah, we wouldn't be stress healing on her. We could do that. Cats stay in your way. Any disease to remove this week? Doesn't look like it. Um... Whoops. Any negative quirks to get out of the way? Uh, antsy, yeah. Fire to the cats. Notice me, master. A gleaming endowment. Zombie. Zombie, thank you for a thousand and fifty bits and using the bleed purple. So another one hundred and five have materialized. Big zombie. Uh, big time zombie, thank you for all the bits. How you doing? Had this stress headache that has not gone away in like a week. And it's back a little bit worse tonight. But aside from that, I'm okay. Uh, zombie, thank you for the support again. Appreciate it as always. They don't have shattered eyes. Breaks the immersion of the game. Yeah, there was one character that actually had eye, like full out eyes. And it was really weird. Have f five fingers to four, yeah. Thank you, zombie. How you doing tonight, zombie? Um, do I want to get any more of these off the stage, coach? How many vessels do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have six vessels, which is usually how many I get. 
Uh, nat or curious kind of sucks. How many man at arms do we have? Two, that's usually how many I take. Could I take another jester? I don't know. Let's see. I can remove cat, but then we don't have a lot of front line. So that's the big problem. No, I think I'll I think I'll leave what we have for now. Such seemingly minor things. Yeah, for sure. Did you hear about the cheese factory that exploded in France? There's nothing left but debris. <laughs> yeah, I did hear about that Jeep. It was pretty tragic. Thousands are dead. How do you Jeep? Somebody just into the Crimson Court. No, no, no. I will not. I will not be doing that. Okay, let's go kill the hag. So, healing trinkets on our Vestal. Uh, Dark Bracer. Hmm. Legendary Bracer. Ban that guy. <laughs> Super cheesy. Stress level just went up. Is there anyone that can play some loot music for Zeal? We're not using use the uh, we're not going to use the cudgel weights anytime. So the Eldritch Slayer ring actually helps us get to the Hag, because uh, this this place is just teeming with Eldritch enemies. I don't know if I actually want to use that. Hmm. All right, should be okay. Should be. Uh, what else? Oh, I was gonna grab. I think I will actually grab finale for this fight, for the end of it. Dodge hags into the pot. I I believe so. Yes. It has a really high accuracy, though. I want to say 120-something or something. It's got a really high accuracy, but I'm pretty sure you can dodge it. Almost certain. All right, let's go kill the hag. Okay, all the food. Stack shovels. Two, everything else, pretty much. Hey, Orem. Hey, you? Is that how you talk to me? Hey, Orem. How's it going? How have you been? Lost team to the hag. It can happen, yeah. Food, shovels. We got curio interaction. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take a couple more of these. I think we're good. Food, shovels, curio interaction. Uh, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. All right, let's go. Let's do it. I had collected Everyone else died. He would dodge to it twice in a row. Crittered to death. <laughs> and was set to enjoy several Still no 360 connection? Study. My work was Two weeks. By a singularly striking Watch you in VR instead. <laughs> this is awesome, Pineapple. That sucks that it's not working, though. Fearful zombie. Masochistic wash. Flufkins past the 1700 hours. Flufkins sing for all the hours. And the wild corruption. So the hag will be up here for this location. Uh, first the room for our starting location. Let's check these curios. Eh. Lobo reborn. Irrational. A vigorous Fluffkins, too. Ready to fight the hag? Might not have been an hour yet. VR app has no chat function. So welcome, everyone. <laughs> I 
That's surprising. I get. I guess it's not surprising. All different Twitch versions are kind of lacking. How you doing, by the way, Shims? Good dodge. Good suicide. Yeah, I think so. Wash. Uh, so these two can do big damage to mark targets. Go ahead and try to kill it. Rock that. You're dead. This one's dead. Another one falls. VR app should have speech to text. And eight. We're good. We good. Maybe. Probably should have just bled it. Scrub an hour already. Thank you for sticking around. We'll just kill it. Press this advantage. Give them no All right. Now we should be okay. Hopefully she doesn't get stunned again. Does have a blight. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Brought one extra antivenom. We're doing all right. Back to the pit. How makes used to sound drunk. So I really like Repose teams um, against the Hag specifically because she, once someone's in the pot, she does a lot of AOE. So one of the main reasons I bring Double High into this usually is that they can keep Repose up. Hopefully she takes someone else, and then these guys can uh, destroy the pot in just one point blank shot. Uh, if we get rabies, we're gonna have a bad time. Unless it's on our vestal, I suppose. Doesn't matter. Unnerved, unbalanced. else today <laughs> it only takes one hour here to need a reason to drink I mean you could you could drink every time I say good dodge but then you might die the flesh is knit. Oh, because they're scary looking but because their damage output pulls you with an unyielding rage so do you think about these spiders when you see spiders in real life now Uh, so the two fungal artillery can mark. This one will probably use escape cloud though, which isn't good either. Um, and then this does about 50% extra damage to mark targets. So I think I'm just going to kill this one first, actually. There's escape cloud. Mortality clarified in a single Shop her death door. Hopefully that you won't be drinking very much. Hopefully, that's the case. Man, these crits. Vision. The end Got crit three times in a row. Looks like I played Dark's Dungeon or something. Surges as now this one's gonna use Escape Cloud too, and it's probably gonna die on the repost. Hopefully, get a heal in before it gets to go. Crit heal. Finish through every death blow check. Yeah, I mean, I avoid death blow checks uh, big time. So, I don't know. You would have only drank once this entire run 20, you would have only drank once. Destroy them all. all right, well, that wasn't a good fight. We're not dead. Context of which quote? Butt shots or. Double sister butt. But here's 30% of all Adam quotes. <laughs> Wipe out and drink anytime someone falls. Oh my god. <laughs> you would also be dead. Call scrub gink is increasing. It's true. 18 pack one episode. I still want to go back and watch Most Extreme Elimination Challenge. You guys remember that? With Kenny Blinkenship. I don't wonder. Someone said they have like all those on YouTube. The trap you need to watch those one night. That's what we'll do for the stream. Just watch Most Extreme Elimination Challenge for seven hours. Man, we got a lot of stress. Hopefully run into a uh, better recovery fight. I mean, this can be a better recovery fight, but... One shot for each failed trap. 
That one might be a, ba a balanced one. Just chatting streams? I've done a couple. And we literally just watch things on YouTube for hours. Usually at the end of a stream. Like, every couple months, we'll do that at, like, the end of a stream. So you're lying. Does that mean you're basically banned from using some of the best of skills? No. Um, so before we had, we had a mod, we have a mod where those moves don't add torch, so that way we don't forget and it stays at zero. Um, but when we didn't have that mod, as soon as you use the move, you can just control shift click the torch and it'll instantly snuff it. So it was just remembering to do that, and now we don't have to remember to do that. Alright, 30 stress removed at the fountain. Very good, let's check this curio, er, tile for curio. One shot for each hentai. <laughs> Can anyone do the resolve thing? Yes. The resolve and death blow is a one hour cooldown, but anyone can do it, even if you're brand new to the channel. It's definitely not in a stream. Yeah, we haven't done a ton of them. We usually watch meme videos and nostalgia stuff. When we do, Executed do those things. Impunity. Last time we watched the Marble Olympics. And we watched people getting bitten by by bugs. We watched some Canadian public service announcements from the 90s. <laughs> like... Not quite an hour yet. Fearful Scrub. Fearful Neroff. Yeah, so for anyone that doesn't know, um, you can do exclamation resolve to have your resolve checked. Uh, the percentages are the exact same as in the game, so if you do Exclamation Resolve, you have a 25% chance to get a Virtue. You can use that every hour. Uh, Exclamation Death Blow, you have a 33% chance to die. If you die, you get timed out for a minute. Courageous Phantasma. Paranoid Trees. G.I. Joe. Oh yeah, I know those ones, yeah. I know those ones. But there were some weird ones that Rake showed us from Canada, like the, uh, the, what was it? The tiny hippo pet or whatever? The tiny service hippo? <laughs> it was like a, it was an entire commercial about how everyone needs this little service hippo. The house hippo, yeah. And at the end of it is like, don't trust everything you hear on TV. There's no such thing as a house hippo. <laughs> It's like, man, I was getting excited. It's a ganking bunny. Alright, one room from the hag boss. The house hippo. Quad spider again. At least it spit first before we got um, marked. It's nighttime in a kitchen just like yours, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, it's actually buff, I think. Born and crushed in one forty second span. Yeah. <laughs> Flying to Atlanta. Someone trying to bring a peacock on the flight as a service animal? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was their argument here? I mean, I know that their argument was it was a service animal, but like for stress relief? Does that lead them around? It's my anxiety relief peacock, yeah. Hopefully we go before this one, or else we could lose the run here. Weird blue puppets telling you not to put stuff in your mouth. No, I don't think I saw that one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I did. I don't know, Rake sent me a lot of them that night. We watched, I don't know, maybe 10 plus Canadian public service announcements. And there was some with very weird puppets. Like the rats or whatever. Uh. Nature stress casters. As victories mount. All right, let's camp. So too will resistance. A message from concerned children's advertisers. Click the Vestal. What, what? What is going on here? 
don't know why it's acting that way. Anyway. Uh, we're going to do dodge speed, melee damage, and accuracy. Dodge speed, melee, accuracy. And then we're going to give crit to one of these as well. Probably the one that has the dark bracer to stack his crit up. Next our dungeon. Not really. They did two very small interviews. All we know is that there's going to be seemingly less town management. And that it's still going to be more darkest dungeon. That's really all they've they've shared. Now you want a tiny hippo? Yeah. As the light gains purchase, hippos are deadly. Are lifted, and purpose is deadly. made clear. I don't know about a house hippo, but uh, no hippos. So it seems like they want to get rid of some of the micromanagement as far as between dungeons go, which I have no problem with that being in the game in general, but I guess some people do. Um, Nature herself. It feels like, to the I mean, I don't know, just reading between the lines, it feels like they want to get you in dungeons uh, more quickly after you've just left a dungeon. Okay, so for the hag, I'm going to trade out open veins for wicked slice on both of these. I want to trade out our stress yule for finale, actually. We go 3D. I don't think they would, but you never know, I guess. Hell, it needs to be expanded, not shrunk, right? Tiny house hippo <laughs> equals a house cat. All right, hag time. So the hag, especially on um, on a princess, has very low health for a boss. She only has 80 health. A slathering testament to the powers of corruption. Get our buffs rolling. Well struck. House cats or house pumas. True too. Uh, we have a ten percent chance to stun her, or we can do four to six damage. I'll just do the damage. Do the game at the same time. Don't feel like Hamlet really takes up much. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it. So the Jester's in there, which is good. Jester's out. We got a repose up. It's going perfectly. Impressive. Well. Here it comes. <laughs> comes the finale. Hey, and there was the hag. Consumed by the spores she's GG. Easy peasy. That's what I said, like the double high wind team against the hag is just incredible. Uh, we have so many provisions. Look at this crap. Holy cow. Six slots of provisions. So, we're going to backtrack and do some battles. This is a great team for the Shambler, too. Like, now would be the time to get a Shambler. What are we using Finale? Not just for fun, uh, so the thing about it is Finale hits really hard, but it leaves you with a debuff for the rest of the battle. Um, and on the Hag fight, we wouldn't be using Inspiring Tune for the Stress Heal either way. So having the Finale, especially in a fight where he already gets... Uh, the Jester already has a chance to get moved to the front, is a great way to finish off the Hag. He only has 80 health, so... Sign of Trust. All right, so we're going to try to spawn additional battles in this hallway by going in and out, in and out. There's one. Can we spawn more? I guess I should just do that battle and then try to spawn more. Huh. Um, this could be a really bad fight. Sometimes. These dogs can give, um... Rabies.
Hmm. I think we're going to be able to kill two. This one's going to get to attack us twice, probably, before we get to respond to it. The Madman also causes a lot of stress, but he does have a 4% chance to drop one of three very rare trinkets. Kataj. Can't believe brings you hatfully live animals. Nice to have to catch, kill, crap she brings to the house. I remember that. Um, our cats are all indoor cats now, but when I was a kid, we had a lot of indoor outdoor. Fast and surprise, that means six hits right up. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I was talking about with like spiders, too. Like, if you surprise spiders, it's great. If you can kill them. If you can't, sometimes you get hit eight times before you're able to react. But a victory nonetheless. Good. That was a lot of loot. Cats can bring live snakes into your house. What? The? Oh, the quote. Cats like to bring us half-eaten mice and rats. It's crazy when, uh, like I said. Specifically, I had one cat when I was, I don't know, 9, 10 or something, that for some reason I named Tiger, even though it was a gray and black cat, <laughs> I named it Tiger. Anyway, she would, uh, that's right, female gray and black cat named Tiger, she would go out and hunt things, and like, she would, she would come back with like full-size rabbits, like, almost as big as she was, drop them off on the porch. Mostly dead. It's like, uh, thanks. Guess we'll be eating well tonight. No, we didn't eat them, but... This brings leaves. Stinks around here. Bugs, mice, rats, all kinds of birds. Even a rabbit once. Uh, alright. So this hallway is pretty much full of traps. So we're gonna go ahead and go through it. Hunger proc. Couple sinks that... Somehow managed to survive down there. We can't. Just put all the crap down there. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna. It's kind of scary. Just like garter snakes and stuff, or your base it, yeah. Cats can hunt rabbits, absolutely. Cats are one of the pound for pound and how much they kill. Cats are one of like the deadliest creatures. I remember watching a documentary about how because of the size or the population of house cats and the amount of things that they kill for fun or for appeasement or whatever um makes them one of the deadliest creatures in the world it's kind of crazy hey kaiten kaiten you resub you resubbed for that suck it emotes <laughs> i do kaiten hey buddy boy welcome in it's crowded um, man, it's been busy tonight. I don't know what the viewer count is. I, I never have it up during the stream, but uh, Lost uh, stopped in with a big host, and uh, it's a dungeon, Darkest Dungeon Night, which is always popular. Cats try to look after us humans as well. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. They self-domesticated. They love us. They don't, they don't like that they love us. Spawn fights in longer passages. It does it spawn traps only once per hallway, not per space. It's per space. Yeah, longer hallways have a higher chance, which is why I wasn't trying to spawn them in the two hallway room. Um, this is one of the longer hallways. This one has six tiles. Jersey, though, one of your cats caught a copperhead without it killing them. I'd be really impressed. Got give there were like 100 gift sub bombs near there. Sounds familiar. Them kids love that darkest dungeon. True. What are you up to tonight, Seth? How are you guys doing? What do, uh... What do your girls get summer break, by the way? Let's go ahead and go hit that fight, I suppose. Um, my daughter starts summer break at the end of the month. End of the month summer break already. Holy crap. Not so secretly planning to domesticate us. How'd the modded playthrough go? It was really easy. It was almost... 
It was interesting in the beginning because I hadn't used some of the classes, or like maybe half the classes. But it got kind of boring because it was so easy. Um, after we had already, like I said, determined what all the different classes were like that we were using, it was just kind of going through the motions after that. It is a good movie. Oh, well, thank you, buddy boy. I always look after the stream, this but not during. At least promises success. Uh, I guess I'll learn on the bandages. It's crazy. Thank you, buddy boy. Is there enough to do nothing for three or four months? Yes. <laughs> A dog pooped a fight with a stray cat and just like chickened out. Uh, Alright. We still have food, keys, and holy water. So we're going to keep trying to spawn more fights. We might as well get the most out of this dungeon. So for anyone that doesn't know, we're going in and out of a hallway. Because every time you enter a hallway... That, well, anytime you enter a hallway again after the first time. There's a chance to spawn a trap, a hunger proc, a battle, or nothing. And so, if you're in good shape at the end of the dungeon, it's worth spawning more battles to replace any provision slots in your bag uh, that sell for next to nothing when you come home for the loot. So that's what we're trying to do now. Scrub gank, you're heading out. Scrub, thank you for bringing it out for so long. I appreciate it. Uh, if you can leave a lurk, it helps out tremendously tonight because we're doing a bounty. If not, though, it's all good. Have a good night, Scrub. See ya again, I hope. Try to scout a secret room. We could do that, actually. Uh, the only way we could get a secret room scout is if we went here. We don't have a shovel, though. Or if we went all the way over here without running out of food. So... Hmm. We have two hunger procs. One, two, three, four. Maybe we could make it over here. Screw it. Let's try it. I'm worth a try. Yeah, I mean, this dungeon doesn't... Oh, God. Doesn't even necessarily have a secret room in it. There's a 50% chance. Plus, we'd have to get a critical scout. Leave a lurk. Oh, sorry. It just means leaving the uh, stream running in, on something. Um, even if it's, like, muted. As long as the stream is running. But no big deal. Either way, scrub. You're in the middle of a neighborhood, so you don't even know where all these snakes keep coming from. It, it is kind of crazy. So we live right on the edge of Indianapolis, and it's in a very developed area. Uh, big population. <clears throat> and we will... There's no, like, forest, wood, wooded area very close to us at all, aside from a couple small parks. Not only are things... Oh, man. We can only go through one more hallway. Not only are there, like, tons of rabbits everywhere, but we'll just see, like, deer coming through the neighborhood, or someone saw a fox... There was a coyote that was just going down the road uh, this last year. Let's see these gosh darn snakes. Yeah, thank you, Scrub. No worries, though. Like I said, glad you enjoyed your time here. <coughs> if you make a stream, you don't count for viewership. Uh, they, it's, it's different. It depends, Kim. Um, we, we've tested it. It's, if the video is running, it still counts. Now, the, the problem is your browser. So if you have, uh, Chrome, for instance, does this. The, Chrome changed, changed something as well. But anyway, if you have a video running in a tab and the video is muted and that is not your primary tab at the time, it will stop the video so that it's not eating up resources. So in that case, you have to mute the tab instead of the, the stream. But... How you doing, by the way, friend? Welcome in. So we're... We're really pushing it here. Um, we don't have enough food. Like, we need two pieces of food in this box. A handsome reward. Task well performed. I mean, <laughs> what's the odds of getting a hunger proc in this last tile? Okay, 
We're gonna get a scout. All right, we should leave. We should leave. One more haul. Uh. All right, Jeep. Yeah. Uh, what's let's, let's think about a hunger proc. If a hunger proc happens, we don't have we don't have food. We take like twenty percent damage, and we take stress. Uh, is she going to need stress relief if we go back to town anyway? Is the question. If we do get a hunger proc and we fail it, we are immune to the next hallway. No more halls. Professor Dr. Shambles is watching. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln would do it. Yeah, no worries, Scrub. Thank you again. Have a good night. There's a trap. Watch your step. <laughs> I'm inching forward to see if I can see curios. <laughs> uh, there's gonna be two food in this bag. You'll see. Gnawing hunger sets in, turning the body against itself. Now we're immune to hunger, so we're fine. All right, this will be a recovery fight, you'll see. <sighs> Dodge. Recovery fight. Recovery fight. Oh! <laughs> hey, Matt, how's it going? How you doing, Hyrule? Sure, what are you killing? Nay, nay. You like rabies and crits? Shh, be cool. What? <laughs> we haven't dodged like this whole dungeon. We haven't dodged the whole dungeon. Now's the time to dodge, though. Holy crap! Will the plays while I do? Oh, surely not. Eradicated. <laughs> here that would just be too gross so it would and everyone would blame you jeep actually they'd all blame me but i would blame you dodges are zero now ah uh. same game same time as the streamer you blame Jeep. Another dodge. Can we get another stress healing? Yes, we can. Thank you, Kitan. That really was a recovery fight. Because we dodged like four times. God tier dodging, yeah. Success so clearly. Good stuff. Or is it merely a trick of the light? And we're immune to hunger for the next hallway. We can go we can go down it. You blame Tet for some reason? Trinkets and baubles. Simple Jeep from down Before south. In blood. Are you a Jeep Grand Cherokee? Hmm. Um, there's actually a chance we critically scout from there. It's a twenty five and then another fifty. I don't think we're gonna need the skeleton key. Oh my lord! That's what I said about the hunger proc, though. Let's let's look. At, let's watch the secret room be revealed. Dodge ram, not enough dodge ram it. <laughs> That's a good philosophy, actually, Onk. How you doing, Onk? Three is only getting two to three level one missions for the week. Uh, it's based off your upgrades. So if you have a lot of level 2s, Sin, with level 3 upgrades, you'll still get a lot of veteran missions. So it's actually based on your roster's upgrades as opposed to your roster's level, which is kind of weird. Screw it, we can get some more stress healing in. Not enough RAM, download it. 
uh, settling into being nice and warm and dry yet. Work injuries are acting up again at work. Yeah, I believe that's how it works, unless they've changed it since the last time I learned that. Which is possible, of course. But that's why, like, as you start getting level 2s, even though you don't have any level 3s, you start getting veteran dungeons opening up, it's because your level 2s are starting to get level 3 upgrades. It all makes sense. Only when your roster is all leveled up. Basically, yeah, if, if you can... Now, the, the downside of that is that your level 2s won't be as strong without the level 3 upgrades. But if you're trying to uh, stay away from vet, a lot of veteran dungeon spawning, that's the way to do it. Man, I can't believe we've actually recovered so far. Uh, two rounds left. We'll probably repose die. Okay. We missed, which is actually good, because we can get another stress heal in. Probably. The ground quakes. Got it. Wait. <laughs> do you... Do you have an emote of, like, a... Like a bodice? Where, where did you procure such an emotes? Team building and trinket choices? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, for sure. That's the way... Uh, yeah, if you want to postpone veteran spawning. Just don't get level 3 gear. It's Bowsette. Oh, I see. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Oh, uh, you were putting my face on it. Now I see even more. I didn't realize until I looked over at my actual chat rather than the overlay. <laughs> this doesn't look quite the same. Yeah, I wear that. I wear that kind of stuff pretty often. Oh, Gurg. Oh, it's okay. You actually use holy water on that for a guaranteed positive quirk. We didn't have any anyway. Keep private life spicy. Yeah, you know it. Bowsette only by her bodice alone. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Lydia emote win, God. Lydia and Sonya, they'll be doing this, you know? Two piece emote. A mod wife emote. That was in the. Uh, that was voted on a long time ago, many times, and it never had a lot of votes. Uh, so we killed the hag. It's, it's easy to forget that that was the hag boss dungeon. Um, yeah, like 17,000 gold. Sacred scroll will sell. We already have one. Evasive, good pickup. Mankind hater is fine. Resolution, tone deaf. This don't matter too much. A fresh irritant, the sum. The shower, Lydia and Sonya. Is that a red bull and another red bull? I can't tell. Let me get my bifocals. Not to make fun of anyone that's wearing glasses. Posture syndrome. Does it give you wings? Hard noggin. Hell's hairpin, please. Please. No. Who is a Red Bull athlete? Alright. Uh, let's go grab the other Dark Bracer, I suppose. Waving my sword around. What proctologist have you been going to? Yeah, you might want to get a... I would change doctors. Uh, Alright. Hmm. Let's bring Mr. Tet. Mr. Tet? Hmm. Kill the hag? Yes, we did. 
She got destroyed. The one from the Ren Fair. Wait, your proctologist is from the Ren Fair? Malik! Hey, Malik. Thank you for the host. Have you been Malik? Um, I don't know how I feel about this team. Oh yeah, Malik, welcome back in. I really need to start leveling up Kaz, also. Don't think they had proctologists in the Renaissance days? Kind of an odd team. I think we'll be okay, but. I think we'll be okay. It's not the, uh, not the best of teams, but, uh, should be okay in Apprentice, I think. Their upgrades going. Those are those them that can have upgrades. Any diseases to take care of this week? Don't think so. Yoka's has one, but <clears throat> bag of the bar and there's a proctologist, urologist, yoga studio. Just went with it. Are they all run by the same person, Matt? I'm in Malik. It's good to see you again. Uh, any stress we need to get rid of this week? Nope. Any negative quirks? Oh, uh, we can get rid of Hagio Media, I suppose. So maybe that. Helomania. We're not doing too badly, though, in the negative quirk department. Alright. Suppose this is what we'll get rid of, then. Um... Yeah. Hagio Mania off of Gurg. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and lock in Evasive. While we can. For having so many Vestals. Just to have the healers. I mean, um, we're going to end up having 29 heroes that we're level up evenly. I want a Vestal in pretty much every run now that we have healing trinkets. And so, it's, we need about that many, about six came there for. That's all that matters. Mistress Fists. <laughs> what? Oh, this new ice cream? Oh, it was a um, cookie dough cherry something. It was good. I don't I don't know exactly what all it was, but uh, it was good. I'll have to investigate more after the stream. Yeah, we just need all that mini uh, Z because that's, that's the only healer I'm primary healer I'm using near these runs are the Vestal. Okay, we'll go ahead and sell that. Sell the Bleed Resist Charm. Sell one of these. So there's something you would try. It was pretty good. It's like, um, instead of like normal cookie dough, it was more like um, sugar cookie dough or something, but with a cherry, cherry and almond type flavor. It's pretty good. Uh, grab the armor piercing, scouting, and the protection. Okay. Cherry, yeah. Do I want to grab any of these while we're here? I don't. I don't think so. I need another crusader. I'd like to have another crusader. Bad healer times two and scientific quirks. But those are level threes mostly, right? Let's see. Uh, they're level zero. We can actually just trade them out with another. Yeah, our other ones are level three, so I'm not going to spend gold on them just yet. Almond the monstrosity. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh, double healing trinkets. Dark bracer. Scouting. Also put health on her, I think, especially because of the nightmare. 
minus stress. Minus stress. I might actually do the legendary bracer on them. Yeah, that should be okay. We're a little bit slow is the only problem. A little slow. Hmm. 20% damage versus Eldritch. Not everything in here is Eldritch, though. Yeah, we should be alright. Alright, let's do it. Hey, K-Pack. The run's going alright. Um, we're in, like, the mid-20s now. Buff on the Shield Breaker only give a buff to people with armor piercing, or does it give armor piercing and a buff to everyone? It gives it to everyone, yeah. So, um, it makes it so basically all campaign, everyone aside from herself, any damaging attack they do pierces 15% of armor. Which is mainly to help them help her kill the snakes. Uh, speaking of snakes, I'm going to take a whole thing of antivenom and holy water. I actually take extra holy water, and we, we we can camp earlier if we do that. I thought, yeah, it's pretty good. So food, uh, shovels, stuff for the nightmare if we have it. Cure interaction, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. All right, we're good. Let's go. Hi, you Peck. It's lurking from the start. Finally got time to watch them. Thank you for the lurk as well. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Well, look at this dungeon. Dives to the rooms. Man, this is a big dungeon for a sh for a medium. Unless it's short. Yeah, that would be a freaking huge dungeon for a short. Um... Do I want to do... Oh, I didn't bring any bandages on accident. Alright, I don't want to do that then. Whoops. Nature herself. A victim to the spreading corruption. Oh well. Malformed. We better think your fever is pretty much gone. Still got some coughing though. Lingering coughing sucks. I feel mostly better though, Kpek. Sleep upgrade skills, trinkets, camping. Because <laughs> my daughter falls asleep. So these can't mark us, um, so it's not as deadly of a fight as this is on Veteran or Champion. Uh, on Veteran Champion, these can actually mark, and then the Scratchers do pretty big damage to them. Therefore, crit, she gets extra protection for the rest of the current round and the next round when she crits. My favorite crit buffs in the game. Welcome back, Phoenix. She can go down to one health, which kind of sucks. She might get an extra stress cast in. Um, but we'll just stress. Oh, she didn't. She didn't. We'll just stress heal the whole rest of this fight with our uh, Jester. Hopefully, we don't have to heal during this. We'll keep one of them stunned. It's more important she gets down to zero stress, so we can camp soon, and then the snake stress. To a killing blow. Hopefully it doesn't matter much. Bad crit. But we weren't marked. It's all right. Oh, don't crit her again, please. I mean, we know that they can only crit for 10, though. A dizzying blow. Uh, another crit. Starting off great. A momentary yeah, we think we heal in. Still gonna stress heal. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I was hoping we get a lot more stress healing in with uh, just two scratchers, but. Oh uh, well.
So it's our Jester is level two, right? The only level two. Yeah, and we have a level one shield breaker. All right, we'll be fine. I'm a man of my word. I'm into discipline. Just like Weird Al. Go crit. Good stuff. It's going to bleed out, so we can uh, just heal up this round. Get one more Stressul in. Crit. I mean, I'm the wrong person, but we'll take it. Crit heals, crit heal. Slowly. Hey, it's a bandage! We can use that. So we're not going to open this now, because we're going to backtrack through here anyway. Uh, we might have more inventory space as we back through here. Pretty good recovery. Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and we just throw ourselves on a trap. I mean, we, we couldn't see it. Uh, do we have anyone that will auto-react to this? No, so we can wait to loot that, too. I want to get us down to, like... Hey, it's Eldritch Altar. It's, like, no stress. At least on the Shield Breaker before we do her camp, just in case. Uh, we'll use the other Dog Treat here. We surprise him, which is good. Hopefully we'll be able to take out at least one stress caster. Hmm... One down. We might get hit twice by this one, though. They're pretty fast. Uh, we can't even kill it with a crit. A hentai altar. A lot of stress. Good news is, uh, if these actually spawn other small slimes, we can stall them a little bit to recover. Ugh. 90. 90 stress. And the dodge. We're gonna have to guard her. Unfortunately, like unless we can guarantee a kill, which we can't. Um, I don't know though. Like we still get a hit in with her too. Continually on. It's fine. It's good. Them now, as long as they don't spawn the big slime, uh, we can actually stall against these guys a little bit. Now, I mean, they have crit chance, just like anything, but not huge crit chance. So we'll keep killing, like, one of them. At least one of them. Uh, that way they don't spawn the big slime. If they spawn the big slime, it actually causes stress. The summoning of it itself causes stress, or the attack, I guess you'd say. Um, so I don't really want to, like, kill... Well, another thing, too, is, like, they can't cause stress or, like, reinforce stress with only three of them. So we'll just keep killing them down to three. Hopefully that doesn't happen too much. Risky. A little risky. So you can stall on three size one mobs. They'll never call in reinforcements. I mean, these ones kind of summon reinforcements. But uh, not, in the, not in the traditional sense, we'll say. I wonder what has a higher crit chance, slime or cytokinesis. So I wonder if it's worth keeping four up instead of three, that way they never use cytokinesis. So far so good. So I said that. We got a crit again. Wow to God. I missed that little mole man. Well, if nothing else, we're getting stress like uh, even across the board, I suppose. Cyto, so there are three up, can they? They can't they can use cytokinesis, they can't use ectoplasmic perfusion. Uh, they've been using cytokinesis the whole time with 3-up, but they can't use ectoplasmic perfusion with 3-up, because a big mob wouldn't fit. 
the the um, cytokinesis one is the one that spawns just a number, another small mob. It's the profusion one that summons the big boy. That's what you were thinking of. That's what I figured. Yep, yep. So we probably have more stress than we had, <laughs> but it's spread out, so like camping will be more beneficial. Evil crit chance, thank you, Deathfire. So it doesn't really matter which one I leave them to cast if I'm doing if I'm trying to stall out. There is a crit, we'll take crit stress from that. Alright. <clears throat> Let's just start killing, I think. We've got our stress down to a level that we can camp and get it pretty low. We'll try to get her back down before we camp, but otherwise, should be okay now. Now they're going to spawn the big one. As soon as we kill another one. Could happen. Good crit. Just slime. Dodge. See what they do. Nope, just slime. Another good dodge. Alright. So, I mean, our Vestal was up to 90 stress, so overall, it's good. She's not in danger of being afflicted anymore. Uh, we can get rid of a negative quirk here. So, it's a random removal if you use the holy water on it. Uh, Nocturnal and Witness don't matter at all. Flagellant doesn't matter. Zoophobia would be good to get rid of. Scientific would be good to get rid of. Uh, scientific can actually really screw us over. I'm just going to go ahead and try to get rid of it. Holy water. A. That Vestal is no longer scientific. Guess it makes sense. She poured some holy water on an altar and it had a reaction. Now she's like, oh. Science isn't real at all. <laughs> GG. So we can skip uh, two rooms in this. Unless there's a secret room. So uh, medium length dungeons have a 50% chance of having a secret room in them. So you never know if they're going to or not until you discover it. So, and it can screw up 90% exploration rooms. Now, a long dungeon always has a secret room, and it actually counts towards the rooms for the exploration. Um, so you gotta be careful with that with long dungeons. You know what? I'm gonna poke myself in here, too. See what's over here. Oh, it's a trap. Perfect. Is the trap oh, man. We need another uh, good recovery fight, like a uh, double scratcher fight. Traps are kind of good to find, I mean, as long as we scout them. So our Houndmaster should be able to disarm them every time. Put myself in here, yeah. That's how people speak. Still don't need blood yet. Probably open up the court tomorrow. I would guess. Don't want to use a shovel on the grave right now. Wield takes a lot of shovels. Sixteen oh one, man. That's a lot of quotes. No critical scout, so we can't find a secret room. If there was one. Wealth beyond measure. This has rust around it, so it sells for seven fifty. We just pick up some extra food. Yeah, that's fine. No difference between hentai and anime. I can resist digging those up. Can never do so. Because I know we're in the wield and I don't. I could run out of shovels. So. <laughs> now, if I have any shovels left, or if we're getting laid into it and have like three or four shovels, I'll, I'll dig them up. Definitely don't want to use up my shovels. Uh, we'll loot that on the way back. Don't have room yet. We might camp before we loot it. Hunger procs. Are we immune to hunger in the next hallway? 
So we'll go in the longer hallway. Let's throw immune to hunger. Still a dig it up anyway. <laughs> Okay. I mean, it sucks that she's getting pulled to the front, but the good thing is it didn't use a stress cast. So, hopefully we can kill these um, before they give us too much stress. I'll go ahead and buff our speed for next round. Order to push. Yeah, okay. Good. Are you someone, Surge? I have no idea. I don't think so. But you could be. Matt versus Greed. You can always check the Q surge to see if you're still in there. But a lot of people have died, so it's hard to keep track. So we went from run 8 to run 20 pretty quickly and lost a lot of people. Uh, you're not in the queue, so you're either... You're either in the Hamlet or you're dead. <laughs> My bet's probably on dead, but I'm not sure. Um, so we'll just stun one of these. It's died. Yeah, you might be in the Hamlet. I don't think so, though. Hey, thank you for pushing her back. Appreciate that. Position two? It's a dangerous position. Back to 140. Man, we've gone through so many positions, though. Lose the run. You get to be Dismas. Wait. If you're position two, it's actually three, because there's a position zero. So if we lose the run, you would end up being the Vestal or the Plague Doctor. <laughs> but we're not losing the run. It's 48. Good dodge. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just go for the kill on it. So the Fungal Scratchers don't have a very high crit chance. Uh, I mean, they can crit, obviously. We got crit twice or something earlier in the dungeon by them. Maybe it was the previous dungeon with a, with a hag, I don't remember. But uh, we should be able to kill them a little bit slowly and hopefully stress heal a bit before we kill them. As long as we hit them uh, twice per round, they won't call in reinforcements. So I'm going to hit... The Vestal and the Hound Master this round. As long as this one doesn't do that C word, should be all right. Um, let's heal this round. Stall a little bit. Hey, Raider, welcome back. How you doing, Raider? We can treat it only mod for this game, like you want the Jester to have the pick up, or the pick of Destiny. <laughs> I can get on board with that. Okay, we stalled that round. Well, it was like a partial stall. Half stall round. What would your pick of Destiny do in this game? Spread love always. Welcome in. How you doing, love? Makes you sound British or something. Back from your D&D campaign? How'd it go? Are you playing or... Or dungeon mastering, so to say? I mean, both are playing, but in different capacities, I suppose. Uh, so we're gonna have to hit with both of these this round. Let's give him a light tap. Dodge. We'll heal up a little bit. Good crit. Get some more stress off. Just take it slow. Doing great. Probably gonna lurk. Just wanna watch the madness unfold. Sounds good. Thank you for the lurk. Absolutely helps out, especially on bounty nights. Small stress heal AoE. The targeted stun. Grows. Spread love always. Thank you for the follow as well. Um, we'll do our second light hit here. Demon great, they are now in a pirate ship with a 12-year-old girl in search for a dragon cult. Okay, so we got our two attacks in. So everyone wondering is like, what in nine rounds? Why can't he kill these scratchers? 
And Darkest Dungeon is really important, especially in Zero Light, to any kind of, like, recovery fight you can get. Uh, anytime you can heal stress for free, so to say for free, hopefully for free, uh, you just do it. So the Scratchers don't have a lot of crit in Apprentice. Uh, they can definitely crit, though. But we had a lot of stress, and so we are uh, killing these slowly in order to recover stress. Okay, there's our first hit. We'll do the second hit with the Houndmaster this time. So, no stall. Downside of using those that you have to sit and going through a two minute animation every time you use it. Pretty is such a powerful move. <clears throat> kind of reminds me. I mean, I know what it's from, but it also reminds me of Final Fantasy. God, I remember using like Knights of the Round in uh, Final Fantasy VII with like the, the different materia that makes it cast like eight plus times or whatever. And it's like. All right, I just set up Knights of the Round to cast like 16 times. I guess I'll go outside and play for an hour or so or something. Come back and the animations will finally be done and I can play the game again. Fearful Raider. Man, this has been amazing recovery. I'm scared now. What are you scared about? Devastating blow. Delicious ice cream. Walnuts in it. Sounds delicious. What kind of ice cream you got, buddy? The wounds of war can be healed. It does so Never. sure went good. Double summon plus two characters that cast mimic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Um. Spread hate always, cowards. Abusive. <laughs> We get one more stress heal in for walnuts, but not ice cream. I like it. I like an ice cream. Sp speed dial. <laughs> so you, you have the startings to an entire trinket set. As victories mount, A secret room. Are we finally going to get Junia's head? It's like our fourth secret room without it. What run is this? It's uh, run 20. Run 20. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we get her nightmare. So for anyone that doesn't know, when you camp with the Chillbreaker, uh, you have a 50% chance to get a nightmare. You know you're going to get it if she emotes about snakes. So let's let's see what she does. A moment of respite. A chance to steal oneself against she didn't. coming horrors. No nightmare. Which is good and bad. Really, we brought all these items for the nightmare and I kind of wanted to get it out of the way. Snakes. So, no nightmare. Um, it's going to be more crystals. Let's do action crit on our shield breaker. Um... We'll prevent nighttime ambu uh, ambush. <laughs> and. Hmm. I guess we'll just. Get, well, I mean. Yeah, the scouting can still be useful. That's fine. No the snakes. Is struck. A blazing star is born. Apparently the Shambler and the uh, Collector are scared of us this time. Right. That's what's going on. Next 10 dungeons will have a Shambler. Good crit from Kaz. Even with a crit, couldn't kill it in one hit. Come on, Kaz. Look at all these crits. Collector and the bosses you need to beat. It's not... I mean, we'll run into the Collector. There's. I've never had a run... I don't think I've ever had a playthrough that had, like, less than four or five collectors, so we'll run into it. Uh, it's just luck-based, but the collector isn't part of the caretaker's list, so if by some really weird chance we didn't get a collector the whole run, it would still, it would still count, I think. I just don't see it being possible. Waiting on champion. No, we'll definitely fight shamblers and champion. There's just, there's... It's impossible not to, really. 
12% chance every hall battle? No way. I mean, we'll fight them in, in veteran, I'm sure, even. Slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Uh, we can squeeze in a stress heal. Inspiration and improvement. Alrighty. Use herbs on this. It mainly gives food, but I mean, there's a chance at gems and stuff. And driven into the Ruins, yeah, at only level twos. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, so the for anyone that doesn't know, the percent chance on the collector in Apprentice, Hall Battle has a 3% chance to be a collector if your inventory is over 60%. In Veteran, it's a 4%. Champions, a 5%. So, I mean, it's, it'll happen eventually. 12% is better than a 1 in 9 chance. Yeah, it's... it's 12% is like, it seems so low, but it's a, it's a massive percentage when you run into so many hall battles, really. Alright, we'll go into the secret room after this battle. Hunger proc. Eight and twelve percent, yeah. It, it's such a big difference from Apprentice, right? Like, in Apprentice, there's only a one percent chance, so I don't even really worry about it. Like, I don't try to skip hall battles in Apprentice. Like, yeah, Shambler can absolutely happen, and they do. I mean, we've ran into Apprentice Shamblers quite a bit um, in all the, the playthroughs that we've done. Quickens. But I mean, in Veteran and especially Champion, I will actually try to like avoid hall battles. We have a square, and one side has two hall battles, the other side has one or none. I will absolutely be going the way that is less likely to spawn shamblers. So, inches. but in Prentice, I don't care too much. Also, they're easier to defeat in Prentice. I mean, after you get trinkets. Level zeros or trinkets aren't a great matchup for it. Level ones or trinkets are pretty good. In level two, a good team of level twos with trinkets usually destroy the shambler. I mean, it could still go badly. First hall of a new dungeon is a collector. Send him to me, Claws. <laughs> I spot him in your game. I kind of want a collector, though. I mean, it, I guess it depends on what head we get in here, but if we get one. So we don't actually need to stall out in this one. I'll go ahead and stress heal with our uh, our jester, though. I guess I might as well. Double crit heals. Hey, look! No stress until this guy crits us. Hey, look! No stress! Basically full health. Man, we have recovered so much. It's crazy. Uh, it, I mean, just a few battles ago... Our vessel was about to afflict. We probably had like 200 stress total throughout our team Precision just a couple battles ago. Power. Good recovery. Screw it. Might as well top him off. Full health, no stress. Uh, Eldritch Killing Incense is actually a good trinket. Um, it only sells for 1100 gold, though. We're not really using occultists very much. I think I still have one occultist that we're using occasionally, but not a whole lot. What all provisions do we have left? We have a lot of holy waters that we don't really need um, since we didn't get the nightmare. I mean, if we ran into a shambler, we'd, we'd need it, but like I said, it's only 1%. We're going to end up throwing a lot of the stuff down in the secret room anyway, though. So I guess it's kind of... Uh, moot points a little bit. All right. Junia's head. Barristan's head. Someone's head. I mean, I don't really want Dizzo's head out of the three, but... If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I've never had this happen. Like, literally never had this happen. 
Is anyone else know this happens? This is our like fourth secret room with no head. It's a holy water instead of a head. I mean, it's so unlucky. Uh, run eight and run four, we had Junia's head within the first ten weeks. Uh, sucks, man. Sucks. It's a lot of gold, but can't buy Junia's head. No heads for me. So much for Dismas. Not visiting the right secret rooms, apparently. <laughs> yeah. It's bad luck. I mean, we need the gold. The gold's great to get, but... Uh, Junia's head is not a trinket you can buy. Like, if Hell's Hairpin comes up, I'll probably buy that. But, uh... I don't think... I don't think there's any other very rare trinkets I would actually buy. Nothing in the box, but this box. Moon cloak. Moon cloak's not a very rare, but yeah, I'd, I'd buy moon cloaks for sure. Moon cloak is a rare. Um, I would probably buy. Just out of trinkets in general, I'd buy surgical gloves. I'd probably buy two surgical gloves. I'd definitely buy. Uh, up to three moon cloaks, probably. I'd buy some camo cloaks for, uh, for, like, the court and stuff. But out of very rare trinkets, I'm not sure. Gold for our iron, iron bank. That's right. Three dogs. I'm not gonna say what I was about to say. Tell the dead, then I can say it. Okay, that one's dead. Eradicated. Two down. Can we stun this one? I was gonna say, now I feel comfortable saying it, that uh, we actually haven't got crit by dogs. Hit either of these two. I mean, last dungeon we got really lucky and we dodged most of the dog attacks in that one fight. Um, but even the ones that have landed, we haven't gotten crit by. We've been crit more by the scratchers than we have dogs, which is... It's weird. Surprising. Random. RNG. Good RNG with not getting crit by enemies. Bad RNG by loot, I suppose. Balance in all things. Um... Antiminum's used on a curio. So is shovels, though. Shovels used on a curio and a blockage. Um, get the shovels. Shovels also allow us to go all the way over here, even if there's a blockage. See if there's another fight or something. There is a fight. Don't need the shovels either. It's a way to beat the game to dodge every hit. That's one of the strategies, yeah. I mean, you actually can't max out dodge. Well, I mean, you can, but there's not 100% dodge. No matter how high your dodge chance gets, the enemies will always have a at least a 5% chance to hit you. So you can only ever get to 95% dodge. Now, if you get everyone to 95% dodge, which I have done several occasions, or on several occasions, um, it is very hard for the enemies to kill you. It's hard to get to, but if you get to that point, it's very hard to lose. Only critical hits? No. Every hit has a at least a 5% chance, so... Um... Let's kill the bleedy boys first. But it also works on your side, so you're always going to have at least a 5% chance to hit. You only need 95% chance for it actually to be 100%. Basically, there's a hidden 5 accuracy in the game that cannot be overwritten in any way. So... Welcome back, kid. Twenty always hits. Yeah, not in this, not in this one. Um, well, I mean, I guess that's yeah, I guess that's the same sort of thing. Hmm, four to eight. I mean, 
We know we can only crit for 14, huh? Eh, it's alright. I was thinking about blighting it, but... Nat 20 isn't always hit or success. Play some more Darkest Dungeon, buddy boy. It's a good game. Yeah, exactly. So, you always have a 1 in 20 chance to hit, no matter what. Uh, so here are the enemies in this... Maybe I should just kill here if we can. Eh. Good crit. Did I really just loot junk from his groin? Yes, past Adam, you did. Let me know how it goes, buddy boy. <laughs> are you uh, starting? going to start a new run or are you going to continue something you've had going? A powerful okay. blow. I, mean, I actually have enough food. I could go summon another battle, too. a lot of crits, man. I think I want to get a heal in before this dies, so I didn't go ahead and hit it with a bleed there. Hopefully our vessel goes for our shield breaker. Nope. Ah, uh, well. Um, so we don't need this shovel. At least promises success. I want to take the portrait over the onyx, probably. So I can go spawn another battle. I might as well. I mean, look at us. Yeah, that's fine. We're in great shape. So we're going to backtrack towards one of the longer hallways and try to respawn battles. Because we're in good shape. We have eight food. Uh, we have some other slots in here that aren't packed. Like, we have a single portrait. So if we could replace the food slot with any kind of loot uh, or maybe replace the portrait or get more portraits there. Downside is we only have enough food for one hunger proc so we'll probably have to use this hallway. Gain from battles and loot. Nope. Uh, unless it, unless you can get like into a recovery fight or something of course you can get stress back down and stuff like that but you don't get any extra experience or anything like that for more battles. Um, point blank shot is pretty scary here. Good dodges. Hmm. I think trying to stun this one might be the better option. What's our stun chance here? Oh. You got, went first with punishment, okay. Uh, we got a 70% chance to stun. Just go for the kill, I suppose. Loot is nice. I mean, in Blood Moons, we have limited weeks. We want to make the most out of every, every week we can anyway. So, whereas it might not matter quite as much in Radiant or, uh, or Darkest if you leave a dungeon with a stack of food. Um, I mean, it's not gonna like end our run or something, but gives us any advantage we can. Ooh, shiny. No point blank. Uh, I, I feel like he's gonna point blank this time, so I'm gonna put up Serpent Sway. Like, he's done other things aside from point blank twice. So we stun him. Alright, so uh, no point blank this round either. <clears throat> now since he's a large enemy, since he's size 2, he's not going to call in reinforcements no matter what. So, I mean, you could technically stall on him, but he does have stress cast moves, so if you try to stall on him, he's just going to stress you. Monstrous size has no oh, we got more food. Unless in order right. Looks like uh, a maybe we'll be able to do a little bit more. So yeah, I'm just going in and out of this hallway trying to spawn battles. Uh, the thing is, though, if you spawn hunger procs, you can't see them on the tiles. So 
after you go in and out of the hallway enough times, it's a po it's a possibility that you have invisible hunger proc tiles on every single square. God, three traps. <laughs> Uh, let's go clear those out. Glittering gold. Trinkets and bottles. Hey, bam, bam, welcome back. Bam, bam. Let's see if there's a hunger. Nope, there's not. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six tiles this way, so more opportunity to spawn battles. Another trap. Good news is our Howmaster has more than 100% chance of disarming, so like, the traps are kind of inconsequential as far as harming us in any way. It's just, they're taking up a slot that could be a battle. Let's alternate hallways until we spawn a battle. There's one, way down the bit, back into that hallway. Now, stuff like this I also don't do on Veteran or Champion, because I don't want to accidentally spawn a Shambler. And I mean, it very well could be a Shambler here too, but it's only a 1%. Sandwich loot. There's a tile. First tile. Rubes like this? Yep. Yeah. Re-entering a hallway. Uh, there's a there's something like a 17% chance or something to spawn a trap, hunger proc, or a battle. Something around there in, a, in Blood Moon. So, I mean, if you're in good shape, you might as well farm battles. Dodge. We stun the one that hasn't taken this action. How you doing, Steve, by the way? Uh, that one's dead. That one's dead. Decimated. That one is not dead. Hopefully someone goes before it. Nope. Now it's dead. Rabies on our Vestal. All right. It's not a huge deal. Uh, it's going to be harder for her to land her stuns, or for the, the move themselves to connect, but it's not a huge deal. It's got the game recently. Stream is top notch. Thank you, Steve. Uh, if you ever have any questions about Darkest Dungeon, by all means, I try to explain things as I go, but after streaming it for like 1,900 hours, sometimes I sort of gloss over some things. Um, if you ever have any questions, by all means, let me know. Seize this momentum. Push on I think this is good enough. Thousand golds. So we ended up getting quite a bit out of those couple battles, actually. Good, good. Look at all that loot. path and charted route reduces the isolation of our troubled estate. Uh, over twenty-five thousand gold, almost twenty-six thousand gold, and a trinket that we're going to use in the game too. Stick around for lots of chicken jokes. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're still here, Liam. Should be over 2,000 at least. Not, not quite. It's almost at 1,900, but... I think it's bounty time. Thank you, Phoenix. Oh, I just learned something new every day. Same thing with me. I mean, I've, um, I learned something new when I had, like... Almost 17 hour, 1,700 hours in the game. I, I learned something I didn't know. Still no. I swear there are, there are like loot seeds. Trolls are far from intuitive. Clearly a port. It is, yeah. It is. 